Last year's season of champions was one for the ages. A dramatic hit to the Canada Cup. A dominant performance by Team North America at the Continental Cup. There were those pair of wins by Saskatchewan and the juniors, and both by the slightest of margins. There was the end of a dynasty at the Scotties where Amber Holland's team struck gold. A Briar performance by Team Manitoba that was as close to perfect as we've ever seen. Annette Norberg added to her legacy with another world title. And Jeff Stoughton turned back time, winning another world championship at the age of 47. So what will this season do for an encore? Well, it all starts now. The semifinals at the Canada Cup. And our season of champions begins here in Cranbrook in the Valley of the Thousand Peaks between the Rocky Mountains and the Purcell Mountains. Beautiful part of the country in Southeast BC as we welcome you inside the home of the Western Hockey League champion, the Kootenai Ice. This is the Recplex for the semifinal, women's semi of the Canada Cup of Curling. As the teams make their way out onto the ice, two familiar names in Shannon Clybrink. There's Jennifer Jones. Jennifer Jones, the four-time Canadian champion, followed by Clybrink, of course, who won a bronze medal at the Olympics in 2006. Hello, Canada. Nice to be back with you as we start our season of champions coverage. And it'll take us right through until the final stone is thrown at the Ford Men's World Curling Championships Easter weekend. That, of course, in Basel, Switzerland. Now, the... Winter games of Russia are still more than two years away, but the elite curling teams of our country began thinking about it as soon as the flame went out in Vancouver. It's that long a process. Well, this Canada Cup will give two teams, one men's, one women's team, their first direct spot into the Canadian curling trials, which are slated for Winnipeg in December of 2013. That, of course, will determine who wears the maple leaf in Russia. We had seven women's teams that began play here on Wednesday. Chelsea Carey. Now, you won't know her. She's had a breakout season last year. She lost the final of the Scotties in Manitoba. But what a week she had right there beating Jennifer Jones to finish at first place, 5-1. and one. And with that, she gets a bye to tomorrow's final, leaving Shannon Clybrink and Jennifer Jones now to battle in the semi to see who faces Chelsea Carey. You know, as we begin this year, it's always like the first day of school. You know, you get back after the summer recess, you get to see familiar friends and some older faces. So it's, it's Thanks, nice Vic. to be back with Russ and Linda. Happy holidays to both of you. You know what? We knew that the Olympics was going to change the face of the game, but it has dramatically changed it because of the process involved to get to the Olympics. Exactly, Beck. It's a four-year commitment for these young athletes. They've got trainers, they've got psychologists, they're working on their diets. It's a $26,000 first prize here, but that isn't the biggest carrot. You ask all the players, tomorrow night they want to walk, walk out of here with the first get-out-of-jail card off to the Olympic trials. And you might think it's the young players that are very nervous in this process, but let's face it, once every four years, it's the older skips here who are thinking, this may be my last chance. I want this badly. Well, Shannon Clybrink, as mentioned, has been to the Olympics. She loves this event. This is suited for her. Three times. Three times she's made it to the final game in Canada. That's pretty hard to do. Won it once. I had the pleasure of going to Torino with her, watching her win a bronze medal for our country. They're going to be tough today. You know, you think back to that last time uh, qualifying for Vancouver, and it was Shannon Clybrink who came second. Sure, Bernard did a wonderful job, did win, but Shannon is so close. Shannon's comfort it was with open play. Sometimes when it closes down, she's not as composed. Jennifer Jones is going to put rocks in play today, I bet. Jennifer Jones, as you saw by the standings, finished at 3-3, three and three, so she just gets into the semi. Was 3-3 three and three a good record for her? You know, for Jennifer, I think it is. I just, you've seen this movie before. Just squeaks into the playoffs and, you know, probably is the favorite. Year after year at the Scotties, Jennifer Jones is so close. Last year in the final playing Amber Holland, she had this shot it seemed and it just overcurled and did not make it. Amber Holland went off to the Worlds. Jennifer Jones loves rocks and play, but this week she struggled. Her team has been great. She has to regain her composure as well. Well, we're all excited to get a season of champions underway here in Cranbrook. When we come back, we'll introduce you to 
both teams, and both teams have been forced to make lineup changes here at the Canada Cup. The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. By Tim Hortons, perfect gifts for the coffee lover. It's time for Tim's. And by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. Jennifer Jones, a couple of pats on the back. Let's go, girls. It's time to meet the teams now, and it's brought to you by Ford Drive One, the Jones team out of the St. Vidal Curling Club in Winnipeg, skipped by Jennifer Jones. The lead is Don Askin. The change we talked about is at second with Joel Savaran filling in for a number of events for Jill Officer, she and husband Devlin, any minute now expecting their first child, and Caitlin Laws at third. Also changes for Team Clybrink out of the Glencoe Club in Calgary. Shannon Clybrink, she's at skip. Amy Nixon at third. Bronwyn Webster at second, but it is Carolyn Darbyshire who is in and uh, replacing Shelly Matson, who has returned to Saskatchewan for a family matter. By virtue of the better record, it is Clybrink who has the hammer in this opening end of play. She'll play the Yellowstones and to get us underway, throwing red. The Jones lead is Don Askin. Well, it's not unusual, Don Askin, again at the top of the lead position. The front three for Jennifer Jones have played very well this week. It has been Jennifer who had struggled. She struggled with the feel. She struggled with one turn over another. Just not a comfortable week for Jennifer. But as we just said, she seems to turn it on in the playoffs. It's amazing, isn't it, Linda? How many Scott tournament hearts and Olympic trials and uh, different events that, that you almost write them off on Thursday and it's like the... The tooth fairy shows up and away they go and they start playing better and uh, they snuck one out uh, last night to get into the playoffs and it looked like they're going to be maybe make a tiebreaker at best and here they are two games away from winning the whole carrot. Nine, not, not huge. I mentioned that Jennifer Jones likes to play rocks in play. Surprisingly, she has done this many times, putting the first rock in and feeling things out. You have Carolyn Darbyshire on the Clybrink team, who actually is a very natural hitter. She normally plays second, has moved to the lead position. So I'm a little surprised they don't push right off the start, Carolyn, to make some key draws. No kidding, because, uh, you know, Carolyn is a wonderful, wonderful hitter, but uh, not, hasn't played lead uh, very much at all, if ever. And, uh, that was surprising to win the range with that first one. Take a look. Mine's good. Got a curl. So we really got to move actually. We see Caitlin Laws on the uh, the right with Joelle Saberon. Taking up that position at the second. Leave it tight, leave it tight. Good, great shot. Nice shot. So there's the move to be out in front. 14 and a half. And that forces the Clybrink team into this come around. And this ice has been fantastic. Consistent for the skips to read and for the players, very consistent for the field. Yes, it's just been incredible. There's been some amazing shots made. The, uh, I watched the uh, Howard Martin game when we first got here. It was one of the best games I've ever seen. And uh, Jeff Stoughton's making everything. These two teams are playing well. And uh, the young Chelsea Carey is making them all look foolish. So it's, it's going to be uh, quite a finish this weekend. I'm not sure if this did catch something, but if you're not careful and do not get out to the broom, it will really curl. You noted, uh, Linda, yesterday you were saying that uh, a lot of the uh, women's teams, the draw percentage is quite low, and I'm, I'm not sure it's the draw weight because the ice is so good, but it's a lot of those over curls, just like we just saw. Especially the skips. It seemed the male Mind skips have done very well figuring out the feel well, and the ice to take, and the women have struggled a little more, and that's probably going to be a key shot today, knowing you've got that swing. You've got to make those come arounds. Whoa, whoa. Joelle Savaron, of go, course, go, 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 uh, having go, go, go. played a number of years with uh, okay. in Quebec. She's a five-time Quebec Normal champion, 90. Marie-France LaRouche. She was an all-star one year at the Scotties. And fills the position for Jill Officer because of the fact that she plays this, a similar style, Linda. She loves the up weight, and people think about Jill Officer. What is it? She has that ability. Whoa. 
play the, the takeout. Yeah, she can clean the house very well, so they wanted something similar from Joelle. She's also a great brusher, is Joelle, so she has fit in very nicely to the lineup without causing any disruption for the existing players. That's a great thing. Nice situation here earlier for Jennifer of a staggered guards. It's very difficult to raise either one of those. So a rock front of the T line buried here would be uh, problematic for Clybrink. Got more lines. As mentioned, Jill and her yeah, husband expecting uh, their first child. Due date was actually yesterday. It was still no word. We're told they'll get the, the announcement to us as soon as we they know. And but uh, Jill expects to be back on the ice. She hopes for the new year. You were hoping to be the first to hear go. where you've been? Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Direct <laughs> line. Yeah. The red to, phone. To, to the uh, delivery room, yes. And that's a great example of what we're talking about with the come around. That is dead buried. Now, the tight guards are a benefit when you want to bury because, yes, you can make tap backs on this ice as well. If the guard is a little further out in front, there is a lot of curl to get by the rock and also yeah, tap out the shot stone. Trying to roll, catch the corner of the 12 foot. Not me. Not a girl, B. Very nice. 9 4. Let's check out the game plan these teams might have now. They're brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams, our strategies. Opposite styles from these teams. Jennifer Jones, aggressive plan. Her front three have played great, but she's been inconsistent. Look at how she's bounced around with those numbers. Opposite for Shannon Clybrink as far as style. She wants defense. That's her strength. Draws 74%, but Shannon herself 84% on hits. And her team, Amy Nixon, is the key because you want to keep it open. You want that style. That means your players in front of you have to do the job, and Amy Nixon has done just that so far. Okay. You wonder if that's why Jennifer went into the rings. It's a, it's a gut feel when you curl. It's a, you can't come up with a strategy for all 80 rocks, all 80 decisions before the game starts. And uh, because she uh, struggled a little bit personally, maybe that's why they went in the rings, try to keep it a little simpler. Certainly the first end is a time to do that because mm -hmm. that is when if you're going to be feeling a little nervous, you want to make sure you have two great throws. That settles you down for the rest yep. of the game. Easy, whoa. Whoa, nice control whoa. of the hit, Wade. I mentioned that Shannon's a great hitter, Amy as well. And often that relies on pulling the weight back a bit to make the shooters stay, and they do just that. Absolutely. That's why this team's here and all the others. You have to be able to control your speed with this much swing. These, these rocks curl so much late. If they're light enough, you have to have control of your weight and a nice soft weight to hang around there. Too many teams throw normal weight at that one. It just makes it too tough. Caitlin uh, joining the Jones team last year and after two Canadian Junior Championships. They made that run, of course, to the final of the Scotties. We talked about inconsistencies. The intern is, uh, Russ, you were looking at this before the game for Caitlin and Jennifer on those hits. That's the point where they are inconsistent as far as the turn goes, whether it's the timing that they're picking up and suddenly uh, the release is not working for them. But you caught that. Yeah, and I think I think in fairness to the women's teams, uh, it, it, usually the men's event, like a Briar, has maybe five feet of curl. The women's event at Scott Term Hearts is maybe three and a half to four feet of curl. They like to have a little bit less. Here you have no choice. You're playing on the same surface, and I think they're getting caught a little bit with some over curls. Uh, on, on definitely on the intern hits for Jennifer and Caitlin. Pretty low on the percentages. Uh, Jennifer 67 for the week on her intern hits. Caitlin 77. Amy Dixon wraps one around, actually comes out the other side a little bit. Let's talk about the stones because some teams are familiar with these rocks. They're Olympic stones. Right? Yeah, four sheets of the Olympic rocks that we had in Vancouver. And uh, there's two sides to these rocks. One is the natural granite. We see that grayish browny color. Uh, it's on the other side, it, they flip them over and put an insert in, which is a blue horn, tr horn Trevor. A much harder surface. That's the side they're using here. They didn't use that side at the Olympics, but they're using it here. It doesn't pit. It lasts a lot yep. longer, yep. and yes. they, they can condition these a much better and get a little more curl, and they feel they'll last a long, long time. Yeah, Linda, the uh, CCA figures that these stones, if they're well taken care of, 
uh, should last them 20 years. Well, they should. Any kind of granite stone uh, across the country, if you care for them well, they will last, and they're very valuable, so you want to take great care. Any pitting on the running surface, and that's problems for these players. Skip Stones here in this opening end of play. It's the semifinal of the Canada Cup. The winner to move on to tomorrow's final against Chelsea Carey out of Morden, Manitoba. Jennifer Jones. Now, this is the kind of save shot Jennifer makes regularly. Trying to play the freeze to the one that's just behind the tee line. It's a great opportunity to take that rock away. Just comes up beside it. Those are nervous ones when you don't have the brushers on it helping yeah. you regulate the curl. Kind of forgive it a bit yeah, it's too much. That a little bit. Sorry. That's fine. With that dead weight, it didn't quite have the time to curl, and there's a chance to either move that or freeze to it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's nice to see uh, Shannon Clybrink back on the ice. She had. Uh, a health scare before the season started underwent button, some surgery and didn't right play really I think she said to me if I remember correctly when she played her first game here at the Canada Cup was only her 15th game of the of the season and it was that, that they also had to deal with you know Amy Nixon then moved up into the skip position so they've had to really do some shuffling this uh, five ring team but she's back she's healthy and uh, looking forward to possibly down representing Canada Wall again down. in Sochi. Oh, there. Yeah. yeah, big kick, eh? Early on, it is fast out there. You heard big they kick. That means that still. she drove very Not quickly happen. from yeah. the hack. And all the way another here. one, the brushers are just watching down the ice. The kind I like to brush. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shooter will just roll off. Sit back for center line. Kick. A 70? shot stone. Not gonna be happy with that rolling wide open. There's a massive wall, and just Jennifer just hoops one in there. It could be absolutely impossible to remove. Tough to not lose this one. She's playing a double. Yeah, but if we know, yeah, you like rolling open. We know, I think. Okay. Ten. Would you, in fact, like as she suggested? To roll open or get that little flip as you've just shown us right on top. Yeah, one or the other. I think you have to roll away from it. You don't want to set up a double. By freezing, as I've illustrated there, if you get in the wrong spot, there might be a double where you can actually, yeah, Shannon open. can knock one out this way, one out this way, depending on the angle. So they're, I think they're going to go with the uh, safer route and remove that shot rock and try to roll it over. And then there should not be a double. Be tempting to freeze in there, Linda. It would be. You've seen the path now twice, and definitely with this one, you cannot roll too far. Oh. Yep. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Final yes. stone oh, of the oh, end for Jennifer Jones. Hard to it. Hard, hard, hard. And she'll bang it right on the peak, and then just roll over. Sit almost corner, frozen. rolled about two inches farther than that, it would be a pretty easy double for two, but I think it's going to fracture that back yellow one slightly. It's hard to say if you can knock that out for two. I don't think so. Now that yellow just outside the rings, enough of a catcher for that yellow. Just play the nose. I think, think the back that if you got rid of the, the res, it might be in play. We hit it slightly high. One way over in the left yeah. hand side, Vec. No, or is I, it just too far? I think that's too far. Okay. Oh, right up. You can tell by the ice, this is an up weight hit, and this is Shannon's shot. Jennifer unfortunately didn't get exactly what she wanted, so this is wide open. And a little sniff there from Jennifer Jones. She's been battling a cold all week, says so she is feeling better. Okay. Ooh, a little outward wow. motion here. Needs to come back for her. Final stone here in the first. Shannon Clybring. And will spill and roll too far. Kill her own. And look at that. Jennifer Jones will steal two here in this opening end of play against Shannon Clybring. It's the semifinal of the Canada Cup. The winner through to Sunday's final. Welcome back to uh, Cranbrook and a surprising mistake by 
Shannon Kleinberg as she gives up the steal of two. You'll see the stone here looks at it to our right of center. Then she floats it on release to the left. With up weight, it's going to go straight. Inside out motion with a takeout. That's a no-no. And the worst part about this for Shannon, which is this is her best shot, 87% for the week. You had to miss the other way. You miss narrow, you only give up one. Double jam. So she ends up killing her own. Yeah, what are you going to do? So it is Jones with a early 2-0 lead in this semifinal of the Canada Cup in women's play. And once again, it'll be Clybrink who does have the last rock playing the Yellowstones here in two. Wonderland, as uh, Vic mentioned, it's only 15 games all season for Shannon. This is a long week practicing, you know, 15, 20 minutes before every game. Uh, the whole round robin, uh, it looked like a tired slide. It did look like a tired slide and a little bit of trust Almost maybe lacking in the lack of games, lack of uh, ice <laughs> reading and feel and all those things that go together when you play more. A very costly area early, but we do have 10 ends of play, so lots of time to try and get back in this game. Same pattern from Jennifer I mentioned, not putting up the front stones, forcing the team with Hammer to go to the corner if they want to get something started. So the two rocks are in the forefoot for Jones. That well, familiar yeah. Manitoba tuck that uh, yep. we came Whoa. to expect from yep. Yep. Carolyn Darvishire on that Great shot. run that she had. Great Even shot. Jeff Stoughton Great bought a new corn broom. <laughs> that one is about the oldest one around now, maybe that yeah. corn broom that she slides with. I think that's the winner. <laughs> Very nice shot. Exchange stones left the yellow frozen to the red. Smart call to hit it exactly dead on, and it's like you say, that's going to be tough to yep. remove later. Joel Saverin. Even a little bigger roll is fine. Control. The name of the game for Shannon Clybrink is patience. She can make a move on that yellow red combination at any time, but as soon as you Stand do that, up. you potentially set up a double. Easy. Easy. Hitting and rolling away. Has to hang around here. Nine and a half, Whoa. even, Sean. Whoa! No, no, roll, no, rolling big. Had a girl. Russ mentioned the new corn broom of uh, Jeff Stoughton. We'll see Jeff tonight in the men's semifinal when he plays uh, Glenn Howard. Both finishing at four and two. Howard will get the last rock by virtue of his win over Stoughton in the uh, round robin. So that's how they'll decide that. The winner, of course, will go on to play Kevin Martin in the final on Sunday. Martin going through undefeated. Six straight wins. Those two skips are old enough they should be sweeping with corn. Well, <laughs> yeah, they probably remember it, don't they? Yeah? I think so. Also, they way. even here. Sure. Like Interesting that, thought so. here, Linda, to my mind, that you don't want to play with those stones around the forefoot. You're going to play on the other side. Is it just too early to make that move on the shot, Ron? It is, Vic. There's too many opportunities for Jennifer Jones to make a double, get out of trouble if you make the play now. So they're looking to put another stone in their rings, good. basically to keep Jennifer busy away from the situation in the forefoot. Yeah, exactly. Even a corner guard here, you might see uh, Jennifer rip the corner guard off. Mine's great. To the tee. Hard. Pass this one, guys. You just don't want it high. That'll leave right an angle line. onto the other yellow. Hard. You gotta go a bit. A little more, a little more, a little more. That's good. Great shot, beat. 15 2 Of course, the big prize at the Canada Cup is that bird. In the Roar of the Rings, the Canadian Curling Trials in Winnipeg in December of 2013. But also, you get an invitation back to next year's championship, and that will be in Moose Jaw.
then of course you'll be part of the Canadian or the North American team at the Continental Cup and the $26,000. Yes! As we play third, Stones now and Caitlin Lodge. It's the second intern for Caitlin that's over uh, over curled. She's certainly starting those early. Hung on though. But what it does too, and you know, it's it's an interesting thought. You know, Kevin Martin was asked about it. You know, if you get this, this spot locked up so early, how does it change your 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 plans for the next two years? But it's really something you would love to have, right, Linda? I said to Russ, as far as I'm concerned, it's two years of preparation to get to those curling trials instead of two years of panic to really accumulate enough already. points to be there. And anybody would take those two years of preparation over Hard the panic. Nine. Oh, no kidding. You have to you have to have a ticket to have a chance, and this is the one ticket, and uh, nobody would turn this one down. And the, the Continental Cup and the Uganda Cup Whoa. bonuses, too. That's huge. Whoa, bounce. I was a little surprised at how quickly... Vic went over the twenty-six thousand dollar prize. Yeah. <laughs> like that's nothing. That's well, just nothing anymore. It's in your pocket right now, Wait, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> the idea with the release is to let it go just before twelve o'clock, so that you have the stone rotate on its axis. Clean, yeah. And just a little bit of that inward motion, almost oh, oh. coming from the wrist with Caitlin oh. when she makes that mistake. Nice throw there. Hey, did you see the comment? Two different releases there. Did you like that one? Quite enough to roll over on the corner. Just enough to stop that double, though, which is great. They are a great duo, Amy and Shannon. Both very good throwers. Uh, when Shannon's at her best, she gets great reads from both Amy and her own rocks. Very straight throwers. Right where I pretty much had the burn. And it just stayed there. We swept it. Nothing. I'm being real cautious. Like, honestly, I know I set mine going that way, but I could have done that yesterday. No, it is definitely Sean. Way straight. Way, way. What weight, Jen? Pardon me? What weight? Great feedback here from the veterans. It's, uh, it's, it's straighter on uh, the hits a little bit, and they picked up on that already. That is the one thing that these two skips and the skips we'll see in men's play have as an advantage, and that is they're down to the single sheet. They're more used to this kind of change in the ice and knowing what the Stones will do in this particular situation. And a roll to the face of her own. And she does. Oh, what is she left, Russ? Well, it's, it's a tough situation for Shannon because the, uh, you have yeah, to make a move here now. You have to get rid of those two rocks if you're going to score at all. There's a pretty easy raise. You can hit the yellow one, play the raise, roll away, stop the double, or you can hit the shot rock and roll away the other way. So it's, it's what her preference is, but you have to keep some separation with your two yellow rocks. But is there a double there, Linda? In fact, is there a double and a roll possibly over to that stone on the 12 foot? No. No. Like, but I like the optimism there, Vic. Give her a double? <laughs> but still, <laughs> it's only our first game. <laughs> <laughs> Last end, you saw the one about two feet outside the rings that you thought might work. I like that, Vic. Yeah, thanks. No, that's a good point. The hard part here is just the one that uh, Shannon threw way wide uh, in the previous end. She doesn't want to protect and be narrow either. Yes! Oh, right yes! out of her hand, she says. Yes! Webster and Darbyshire to pick her up again as it makes a move towards that center line. Darbyshire on the left, Webster on the right, trying to hold it for the skipper and bang it right on the nose and then nestle up beside their own. Great audible at the end by Amy to uh, wasn't going to roll away, which is what they wanted to do to the left hand side of our screen. Got off it at the end at the hog line, let it curl, and they're so close together. It's a very difficult double. Yeah. 
or I was hoping it would just curl like a little bit more and just t touch it. That was one where Shannon did slide yeah, a little left of target, and I think to compensate, maybe pull back on the weight a bit. It. And that was a tough one for Amy to call. So that's all like it tends to pop of it. Just making sure I wasn't out there and slid narrow at first. It doesn't matter. Good result. That's the tough part about this game. You make one miss, and suddenly the next time you throw, you've got those thoughts in your mind. You can't. You have to just think positively about your routines and your throw. I think Jennifer, she wants to. She, if she's this hard and hit it really thin, she could get them both. She'd hit enough of that yellow, go straight sideways. That was the call. Well, Jennifer Jones, her first. Skip Stones here in the Whoa. second. She's up to nothing. Whoa. Well, this is real close. Whoa. Bang, right off the top and sideways. And Jones is sitting three without. I was a little nervous. She uh, <laughs> she's also did the slide a little left and it throw it a bit right. And that meant it went straight at first. But you didn't need much. No, you, you did to catch it very thinly. Mm. Had to hit it that thin to make it. Beautiful uh, call. Nice to see that shot, too. A lot of teams wouldn't see those angles. And uh, it was just set up tight enough that they would go well thrown. This is not the position Shannon wanted to be in. Obviously, the first end, Jennifer stealing the two points. That's not a good thing. But I talked about the go-to shot for Shannon. That's the hit. And now she's drawing against three. It surprises me a little bit, doesn't it? Because you, you could hit that roll just about you anywhere. Go. You could roll you left or right four feet and be okay. This is difficult to get to closer than that one half in the four foot. Guys, this oh is, to me, a lack of confidence in that throw. Needs full four foot. Okay. Full four you need. It's probably light. Go hard. Now Webster. Timed on the light end, guys. Hard. Come Garber on, shot. Need four. Oh, Here comes there. Dixon. Take it all the way, girls. You're facing three. And they'll drag it to the T line for a single here in the second. But certainly Jennifer Jones, the sharper of the two skips so far. Jones will have the last rock when we come back. A meeting of the Elks Club here in Cranbrook. <laughs> okay. Thank you. The juice. <laughs> no, I, I was expecting something from you. Juice Box is music for kids, and it's here. The music video channel featuring parental approved videos from today's biggest stars, such as Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, and Willow Smith. Juice Box. It's music for kids. Contact your TV service provider for details. Are you going on the road with the, that? The Elks Club. The Tales. The, the, the Tales. The Tales of the Elks Club. As we welcome you back to Cranbrook. You know, it's day one. Yeah. And I thought you'd give me some help. It's 2-1. Jones leading it for the first time in the game. Yep. Jennifer Jones is having the last drop. She's playing the Redstones. Right to it, guys. Hard. You've got to go to April. Hard. Yes. <laughs> no. It is. It. it is a long way right away. Right to it. Right to it. Right to it. So this is the new look, Jennifer Jones, putting the rock in the nine house nine. and playing hits. I'm once again surprised, especially when you look at the fact that Shannon, to me, looks a little rattled in the way she's throwing the rock. But Jennifer seems very content after that steal in the opening end to just play it open with Shannon. Yeah, I'm not sure why Shannon threw the first one in either, because that gives Jennifer this option, and uh, she's just playing the scoreboard, and uh, you kind of can't blame her. Did you see this in her scores throughout the week as well? Well, I, I went past the scores, Vic. I looked at the shot details report that shows you how many front stones they play and how many draws around them they do. And Jennifer did play the first one in more than I expected. Shannon, we know, she doesn't like as many guards. She hopes that Amy will make the key hit and roll behind maybe one corner guard that's in play, and that's how they generate the extra points. Actually, in the game yesterday that Even Shannon more. played, she got into trouble twice, gave up steals because of the number of yeah, rocks that started yep. to accumulate in that four-foot area. Yep. Yeah, they really closed in on her in a couple ends against Rachel Holman, and they were a little lucky yep. to get out of that. They, a couple of mistakes by uh, the young Ontario team, and uh, Shannon escaped with a three to win the game outright. Joel Sabaram, so if you are Clybrink, you have to do what? Play the little tap backs, try yeah. to play some breezes, keep the stones in the rings. You gotta go, 
Well, when she gets the hammer back, Shannon will have to try and uh, get something going okay, because she has fine. the deficit fine, on the scoreboard. But you're right, Vic, okay. she may try it in a little more open style and putting too many rocks in play out front. Seven teams in a six-game round robin. Shannon Clybrink went five and one, her only loss. On the opening draw on Wednesday, that to Chelsea Carey. And, of course, Carey is through to the final, and she's awaiting the winner of this one. No, no. What a huge loss, as it turns out. Game one back Wednesday afternoon, no. uh, a, a win on that game. And uh, Shannon has is in the final, relaxing this afternoon, watching television, and uh, with the nice. beauty of having the hammer. So that was a big game. Ashkin and Laws with an early brush. And now they'll roll that back to the center line. Sit just biting the top of the button. Ten. By comparison, Jennifer Jones went three and three, and it uh, took a win. A bit of a re revenge win, I would think, over Amber Holland to uh, get her spot in the semifinal. Holland, the reigning okay. Canadian champion, the world silver medalist. Nice throw, Amy. Another game that could have gone either way. Uh, Amber uh, buries her first one in the 10th, and or in, in, yes, in the 10th, and uh, last night might have won that game. It was a really close nail biter, and uh, Jennifer managed to pull it out just to get this far. You will see by the fact that Jennifer was three and three and made it to the playoffs that the women's field was very close. There was a lot of close games. You saw that in the scores, but also it looked yes. like anybody could nice beat anybody. Yes. Not so on the men's side. We saw separation yes. of the top three, the three teams we will see in the playoffs. Hard! Hard, whoa! No. Good. Ten, you guys? Now that it's behind the T line, it's not really a dangerous rock. They could make an attempt to try to put some pressure on uh, Jennifer, but without the uh, beauty of hammer here, that would be a very dangerous call. Ten. Both these teams have yeah, had their uh, share of success right at the Canada Cup. Clybrink like with her uh, two in 2005 the and then 2009. Clean, just clean. Yep. Jennifer clean. Jones yep. won in 2007. Yep. Clean. Yes. But this year, the added go, go, bonus, go, go, of course, go, 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 is that trip to good. the Canadian Curling Trials in uh, December. Well, almost uh, two years <laughs> from right now. <laughs> In Winnipeg. Oh, there's like a dead. Is that the fly that went over my face when I came out on my first shot? I got it. Go ahead, Shannon. We'll get ready. Trying to think where it was, Linda. It was a few years ago. Where were we? That uh, they had a problem. The building got warm because of people and. Suddenly it was just raining. <laughs> uh, yes, it actually does what, happen. Where was I, that? I can't remember the one you're referring to, but it is actually a relatively common problem. And of course, if it gets under the stone, it's a big problem. Ten. Easy, easy. Clean. Whoa. Certainly makes for a very quick end when you play like this, Russ. Oh, does it ever? And, uh, it's funny, it's though, it doesn't plan. change that much because the we changed the timing system. Yeah. We've gone from uh, thinking time to actual uh, timing the actual rocks going down there. Ten. So even Ten though the two. throwing hits, the time doesn't nice change throw. too much. Cool, last I think I'll throw a little. Well, this is one of the changes, and it's a test for this. You know, usually we talk okay. about running time of the stone. Well, what they're doing now is going to see if this thinking time or talking time works better. So you've got 41 oh. minutes. So in effect, oh, no. oh, the I stone right know. now is not being right timed. Off. You can clean so it. So no time is being Sorry. on either clock. You wait until the stone 
goes out or the house turns over to the other it's team. All right. So now it belongs, of course, to Clybrink. It's running now. It will stop when her stone crosses that T line from the throwing end. So it continues to run. She had 41 minutes, remember. So this is where the penalty is if you take too much time. So her clock continues to run. The clock will stop right now across the T line. The thought being, of course, when you're in those critical moments, end of a game, throwing draws as compared to hits. Yes, draws take a lot Mine's longer, nice. and they don't Curling want to penalize teams that like the aggressive play throughout the game, and certainly not teams that are trying to catch up in the game and need to play the guards and draws late in the game. All right, so once again, no time being ticked off Very on good, any nice clock. Great sweeping, you guys. They clear, nice. and now time starts for Jennifer Jones. Now, the Canadian Curling Association, as I say, is this is a test, and they'll get feedback from the players. And when the CCA gets together for their annual meeting next June, July, they'll discuss it and then decide whether to implement it. I think it's a fabulous idea. It's uh, it, as Linda just mentioned, it penalizes the team that wants to be aggressive, and that's what this sport's all about. We we've got so much curl now. There's a lot more draw shots. And the ice is so quick, it's virtually 30 seconds for Rock to go from one end to the other. So if one team's throwing hits at 10 seconds, the other team's throwing draws trying to catch up at 30 seconds. There can be a big discrepancy in time. And all, all you have to do is manage the thinking time. Final stone looking for the blank. And she plays it to perfection. Blank goes on the board. It remains 2-1 Jones, and she continues to hold the last rock. It's a beautiful facility, the Recplex here in Cranbrook, opened in the year 2000, a couple of years after the uh, the ice arrived from Edmonton. They were originally the Edmonton Ice, the Kootenai Ice now, and on a nine-game road trip. This week, this is the home of the Canada Cup of Curling. Welcome back. We put a blank on the board in the third. It remains Jennifer Jones leading 2-1. She, once again, has the last rock. Here in the fourth, playing the Red Stones. So First the rock, though, Russ is out in front, center line guard. It, it. Yeah, I think Shannon nice weight, learned her lesson. It's uh, with a one-point lead and uh, advantage of Hammer. Uh, Jennifer's not going to uh, throw too many guards, hit that first rock in the rings last end, and peeled off uh, one more end. So uh, the center guard this time, not quite buried by Don Askins, and a chance to hit and roll buried for Shannon. If it's true and the ice is a little bit straighter today, those tight guards are going to be difficult to use when you're talking opposition rock. So that rock is wide open for Shannon. Uh -oh. And she's gonna clip her own, roll across the face. And the raised stone will spin and a look by Jennifer Jones and it looks like it has spun out. I don't mind even. 12-footer T-line. Okay. That seems okay to be the common miss so for the uh, women's teams this week, Linda. Just a slight overcurl, and uh, you tick the guards and make you look pretty bad. Line size. It's it. Very familiar release of Don Ask, and they have line. found that riding Any, that uh, curve in. Using the arm extension for you the feel sure is what works. She has a very feet. definite slowing of the delivery and then a very definite arm extension. But she usually has terrific draw weight. Probably the best lead in the country the last sure. five or six years. At and it feet. never slides too hard. And that's the biggest problem Go. with the people harder, that don't feel. Harder, 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 harder. That's fine, Don. Good. So, of course, as soon as you kick from the hack, you're decelerating. And the key is the feel. Where is that feel for draw weight? So she uses the arm extension to first slow and then add the weight she knows it needs to get into the house. A very nice technique. You obviously don't want to push it too hard. You have to have some leg drive, but it also allows you to give you a little more rotation with that extension. And you need that rotation with these aggressive rocks. Yep. Ron Wynn Webster. Look at this roll, oh, enough oh, to get behind the stone. Not quite, it'll sit back four foot. I equate that uh, arm extension a little bit as a golfer might when you watch the pros. Like here, here. 
golfers know exactly how far to bring it back for their respective shots. Absolutely, and, and but on all the shots, even if it's a 30-yard shot, you still have to have acceleration at impact. It's the same here. As long as you're extending, you, you can get your feel. If you have to pull back, okay. it's, you tend to lose Whoa. that feel. I don't know if it's center line, but this definitely is a straight spot as we've seen with okay. the miss by Shannon, and that's just caught a tiny piece of it throwing the center this direction. I don't know. They're struggling with that spot. It's really straight in that straight. line. Now, we already mentioned that Jill Officer, the usual second for Jennifer Jones, has been replaced by Joel Sabrin because she's expecting her first child. I'm trying to not yeah, get into trouble. Really um, Bronwyn Webster is, all well, you can see, she is expecting two. Her, she and her husband are expecting their first child okay. in March. That's a hog line violation, Vic, just before you keep going. Thank you very much. Hopefully her delivery is better than that one. And, <laughs> sorry. And so she and Kevin are expecting their first child. Here again, Carolyn Derbyshire is going to fill in. And Derbyshire has become this super sub. She's going to play all three positions, or... She's going to fill in and probably when the team they expect to make the Alberta Scotties, there's Derbyshire again. So this team has gone through an awful lot Three and goes. continues Feel to go through some go back and Credit to Carolyn for stepping well, in at any position and being ready to play any kind of eight. shot. She's we're done it very well, well so far this season. How do you get a better spare? Okay. You know, the Olympic well, silver medalist has well, played so not, well over not. the years. Well, She's not going to be spooked in this situation. Yeah, the, the pressure isn't going to be a problem at all. And one of the better hitters that I've ever seen. Got yeah. <laughs> Nine here. Okay. Nice. Well, and ready to brush this Comes one, and this one is a... <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think they need a person from the stands quite yet. Now, this is a big shot. They yeah, need to nine. get out of trouble after oh. the hoggling violation and the oh. rock was removed. Yep. Hard. Hard, hard, right Amy Nixon. Third stones here in the fourth. Really hard. Real hard. hard. You gotta go hard. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Good. Right on the nose to sit two. This is Amy's specialty. She this can throw way? this really hard. I just sorry, Shannon. How much do I have to hit? Right here, three quarters. Okay, it'll just punch it. Think in turn. Okay. Let's go if you can. A lot of the teams are using the O turn in this situation. You'll get a lot more spin, a lot more action on this rock. This is this will hit a little bit deader, and you'll have to throw it very hard to go right across the rings and move that rock another eight feet. Eight. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hard. Hard. Big brush. Derbyshire. Webster. What she got? Off one. She wanted to punch it just a little bit. A little rub and up the side. Now, Russ was talking about the action. Of course, it changes turns when it crosses the rock like that, and that's why you get that different spin, different action on the rock. And out it goes. What a big saving shot by Amy. Yeah, two more points the way this game started. The devastating steal of two, a force to one, and then two more here would be tough. So that was a big, big shot. They can whoa, use this red one as a whoa, saver if they can hit it thick enough. Whoa, 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 no. whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, sorry, Caitlin. My fault. Sorry. Fuck. Not able to hold it for her. She loses the shooter. Tough one. Nice Tough one, Gail. Sorry. Oh, that's fine. It wasn't really a good spot to roll your first one. I thought the nose was the hardest double. Oh, okay. The only danger is going to make sure we get a wider half rocker. Right into it. Yeah, we could yeah, just go I here. I think we better go here. Okay. Just because like that it. one's by the board. Yeah, I do too. Let's go, Sean. You got it. Well, Russ, they looked 
of maybe trying to tuck something behind those two stones just outside the rings. You like that idea? Yeah, I really do. I'm surprised they're not. It looks it looks like they're going the other yeah, way now, Vic, and uh, just playing for another blank. And uh, not that they're running out of ends, but this makes it that much easier for Jennifer Jones. I, I think the come around would be tough because the guard's so tight, but there would not be a problem in raising that, Linda. You could just tap that straight back. You've got a catcher with the red one. And uh, just sit one buried. It does seem she's running a little scared, yeah. and it may be that opening end is still on her mind. Mm -hmm. But definitely doesn't want to take any Airlines chance. Playing it wide open. Just throw an in turn draw down there, tap that does. straight back, and uh, Jennifer might be forced to uh, take a single, and then you get your deuce and get back in the game. Seven, eight, not at all. It's gonna be the nice thing about playing that just little just tap right is that here. inside out shot eight. seems to be seven, very eight, consistent. Eight. They're having a little eight, trouble seven. with the straighter outside mm -hmm. in on hits, but good. the one moving to the very wing nice seems seven. pretty good. Yeah, curls a lot, but curl, it's very predictable. Nice wait, Sean. Nice job. Wow. Yeah, I go this way, hey. Nose is okay. A little bit more. We have to remember what we started talking about uh, before the game, and that's what it's, is at stake. And often that does All go right. into the decision-making oh. of these skips. They don't really mean it but to happen, really but to just a little tight. afraid to take chances, and suddenly you pull back and play more conservatively than ever. Shannon is a conservative skip, but even more so perhaps today. No different than any other sport, is it? It's, uh, again, like uh, Vic mentioned golf earlier, it's, uh, you have to be, at this level especially, you have to be confident. Okay, very nice. 10's perfect. Nice to roll and keep it on this side of the sheet. Uh, Jennifer's intern uh, hits nice, have been Shannon. a little Great dodgy this hit. week. So probably will throw this outside in intern. Caitlin Law is just going over to make sure that the uh, Clybrink stone, the yellow stone, is in fact out. So it'll be uh, an attempt at the blank. A second straight end. For Jennifer Jones with her last. Give me an inch. Like more, an inch. Oh, yeah. I didn't there hear you. I thought you said last. Final stone here in four, yep. Jennifer Jones. Please. Just a clean now, Savarin asking. Good throw, says Laws. Good throw indeed. A second straight blank. Jennifer Jones continues to lead and continues to hold the last rock. That's pretty good for considering. Amy Nixon with a great shot to get her team out of some trouble. It's the key shot brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Stylish designs for any room. Well, Shannon Clybrink goes on to win this game. Uh, he makes the comeback. It's probably right here. It could have been a two-point uh, game to make it 4-1. Pretty big lead. Amy throws this very hard, but had to hit it thin enough to make it enough action for the double, but not too thin to jam on that yellow. Great double. It led to another blank for Jennifer Jones here at the Recplex on this Saturday of the... Capital One Canada Cup this women's semifinal. It remains 2 1 Jones, and it remains Jones with the last rock playing the red stones. That first stone of Clybrink from Carolyn Derbyshire just coming into the rings, and so now this stone is outside and in the free guard zone. Like right there? Yeah. We talked about the fact that Carolyn has not played a lot of lead. We did see her this week make the tick, for example, late game, make a very nice split on a front stone. But the consistent guard after guard, she's not used to. And that was a big guard. They have to play it on the second one as well and hope that they can get something in behind cover. 
Yeah, it's uh, you gotta have to take advantage oh, of the can, rule. Guys. The rule allows you to throw the guards that the other team can't do a lot with. They can, as over, you say, tick it over, but it's a tough shot. Hard, 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 you have to get hard, rocks hard, in play hard, if you're gonna steal here. All you can for line two, keep going, cover this. Hard, you wonder, hard, Linda, if it hard, is hard, a little bit straighter hard. outside in, uh, that makes the ice faster automatically, and they just throwing that a couple of feet heavy all the time. Make it nice. Yeah, you got her. So here we go, we have two guards out front and now the come around by Jennifer Jones. I'll try and keep it in front of the T line. Try and set up a deuce. Bully, line's good. Line's good, it's a little tight. No, you got room, I'm sorry, room. Wait, it's great. Just bully, guys, just a lot of room. Clean it. You heavy? Just bully. And then off. No, no. It's trying. Above T, above T. It's trying. Nice. Great shot, Don. Very nice. nice. Boy, they were worried for it. I worried about it, Russ, for the longest time, but it did find uh, did find the curl and stops top edge of the four, and it is covered. You don't give the trophy to the lead for winning the game very often, but Don Askins has won a ton, ton of games for these teams. It's, she makes a lot of shots and gets them in the right spots. Even that first one, they Mine's managed to get it thick enough to stay it. short, Long so time. Shannon couldn't hit it. That red Where one short of the rings is very it. dangerous. No you saw the Bronwyn okay, well, jump okay, to the side. Yeah. She's trying to use body English to get it to curl. Here it goes. Boy, I tell you what, that's late. She almost gets to the nose. In fact, does and punches it straight back. Uh, BJ Gagnon and Jamie Barassa, the, the co-ice makers here, have done an unbelievable job. You know, she thought she was going to uh, go by that rock, I think, because of that little extra yeah. weight, but it oh, really oh, did curl. Sorry, oh. Fair to get by the guard. Please. No, no. The really okay, nice thing this week, Linda, okay. I find is a, there's huge finish, which is what all the curlers are looking for, but it's the consistency. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't straighten out much as it, you go along. You get in the 8th, ninth, 10th, maybe the extra end. There's still plenty of finish, and that's what you I want as a this. competitor is some yeah. type of consistency. That's why we've seen some big finishes, teams getting two or three in the last stand because they can make the come yep. around and the tap back. Bronwyn Webster has yep. replaced second whoa, stones whoa. here in this fifth. Boys, the jam rolls the shooter over. Sits now covering the forefoot, fighting the top edge of the 12. Wonderful example right there for some of the young players coming up. You could hear Caitlin yelling big, big, and what she meant was it was a little overthrown, a little heavy, and they were sweeping it early for line, but it was never going to finish because Sorry, of that guys. extra like speed. Good one. communication. Ten and a half. Yeah, Shannon's making a play on this situation. Yellow in front of red. She wants to save the shooter and sit two. And just oh. manages to push the Jones <laughs> stone out the back. Shannon Clybrink with Robin. a nice bit of brushing. That's a very nice shot, but it was a tricky little one. Wasn't wanting to curl. Fortunately, the weight was there such that it didn't hang too straight. She got a little touch on the red, and there's the brushing to get it out. A little cute on the sweeping call there. Nice to have separation, but just about with that red one. Here's a hit and roll try. Ashkin, Sabaran on the stone from Caitlin Laws will avoid the jam at the back. Now sits for shot, top edge of the eight foot. Looks pretty easy. <laughs> this time Vic could Just be right there. Same uh, way could 10. jam at the back. 
dead on could be uh, could be problematic. Thanks. <laughs> wow. Be his first time this year. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Ken, whoa. Wait's better, Sean. Yep. Ken. Other way. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Whoa. It's Ten. Uh oh. Okay. Not a girl. Not a girl. Just came across the nose Good. enough. Wait a minute. Better wait. Yep. Good. Go here. I had here. Yeah, I do. Such a steep double. It really isn't worth trying it. You hit. You, you know, you hit it too thick, too thin. You roll across the top Clean or down low, and it allows no. Clybrink's team to oh. uh, separate them better. So what you really want to do is hit and stay. Yeah. Boy, this she is get off the line, oh. boy. Does it ever? Really it's close. Oh, and she's going to make it. Wow. I'll give credit to Jennifer Jones. Yeah. As soon as the stone was released, it was wide. Caitlin uh, threw it a little in out, and Jennifer recognized it and picked it up. This is a very thin hit to get the double. Good call. Straighten it. Yeah. I'm like, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, the excuse me kind of shot. Weight was better, too. Yeah. Yeah. You just slide down like you were trying that all along, right? <laughs> that's that's right. Play the roll over and try and sit in front of that stone just okay. outside the rings. It'd be nice, but I don't think that's a long way to roll. You'd have to really fire it. She's just no, going to no, try no. to hit and stay on this one. Okay, you're good. Good shot, on. Let it go. Two good O-turn uh, hits since that uh, first mistake in the first I'll end. Probably, yeah, nine, nine and a half. Nine seventy-three. Good job. It appears, however, we're heading to uh, another possible blank. A third straight here in the fifth. Good done. Let's go done. It is quite different, though. The teams play eight ends on the tour, and this kind of blank can get you into big trouble on the tour. You're running out of ends, definitely. You do have the extra two ends here, so uh, mm -hmm. a close game at the fifth end break, not quite so bad. A lot of time left. Yep. A little bit less weight on this one. This might curl a little. Rolls it towards that stone just outside the rings. A little better angle now, Vic. You could roll over and get in front of that red one pretty easily. I'd like to roll it right into the trough by center. Okay. We could. Ah, the trough mm. by center. They're indicating what we were talking about earlier, that the center line is a tricky path a lot straighter today. So rather than try and roll it in front of the other stone, she's trying to find a place on the ice that's harder to hit. I'm not sure the ice makers would like that to script. <laughs> Shannon nice. Weibrink at her last. And she moved it a little bit towards center line, sitting now in this back edge of the four. Good. Not sure Amy was on the same wavelength there, Linda. Yeah. They, they, she wanted to sweep throw. it to keep it straight. Hmm? Shannon wanted to roll to get throw. to the center where the straight yeah, spot was. Gonna, I'm going to like slide all the way out there and let her go back <laughs> yeah. now. It's like Money's a curling through. club throw now. Perfect. Nine, seven. Fantastic response. What you meant by that, Vic, is curling club throw. Most curling clubs are way straighter than this, so you can have a softer release. And that's what she's decided to go back to as, a as opposed to an outward motion, what we call a positive release, which normally will curl back with these type of rocks. So the final stone. And picked up right away. Askin and Sadler trying to... Hold the line here, looking to get out of it with a blank, and Jones will not. She bangs it right on the nose. And so Jones will be forced to take the single here in five. And midway through this women's semifinal, Jones with a 3-1 lead over Shannon Clybrink. The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by World Financial Group. 
proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. Imagine waking up to this every day. It is a spectacular, the Valley of a Thousand Peaks. We're in Cranbrook, the uh, Kootenai Rockies' largest city. Channing Clybring, along with Coach Daryl Nixon, is sitting down. Now they find themselves down 3-1. to one. That first end, though, that two was a steal of two. And it set the tone for these first five ends. It looks like a fairly easy shot. This is Shannon Clybrink's go-to shot, and that's the outturn hit. But she slides narrow, puts it back. They've decided the ice is straighter, so it's going nowhere except making the mistake of leaving two, and that's a huge steal. That's why we've had such open play for the rest of the game. So it's time to check the numbers after five. They're brought to you by Tim Hortons. It's time for Tim's. When you have open play, you often see big numbers. After that steal, we've seen a lot of hits, and that has kept the numbers high with Jones and the team with 88% having the edge. But Clybrink has that hammer back. Let's see what they can do with it. Like Jennifer Harris Jones, like along with their coach, Shannon Arnott, like made her own mistake, of course. Forced to take the single. 3-1 Jones through five. The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by Scotty's Facial Tissue. Stylish designs for any room. By M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Tim Hortons. Perfect gifts for the coffee lover. It's time for Tim's. It's all about qualifying, of course, for the Roar of the Rings, the Olympic or Canadian curling trials to go to the Olympics in Winnipeg uh, approximately two years from now. So we know that today's and this weekend's champion, both men and women, qualify. And, of course, points leaders over the year. Canada Cup champion of next year. More points, more points over two-year total. And then there's a pre-trial event. You may remember that it was a couple of years ago in 2009. It was in Prince George. Well, they're going to have another event similar to that. There'll be 12 men's, 12 women's teams, and they'll uh, play off for two spots there. The location of that event to fill out the field hasn't been determined. But unlike most countries, uh, Linda and Russell, we welcome everybody back to uh, Cranbrook. We get ready now, and it is. Uh, Shannon Clybrink does have the last rock playing the Yellowstones and down by a couple. Unlike the rest of the world where sometimes you've only got a handful of curlers and you put together an all-star team, here in our country with so many elite curlers, you have to ha come up with some kind of a system. And this is it. And it's, it's sometimes confusing, it's sometimes a little involved, but really it's the way you have to do it. Well, it's definitely the, the process that they've decided on for this time. As you said before, Vic, they keep tweaking it every time. So, yes, it's always a playoff, but it's a different kind of format to get there each time. And I tell you what, if you don't get one of those six direct bursts, either through the Canada Cup this year or next year, or the points over the one year or two year total, that 12 team triple knockout of the pre trials is going to be very tough to fight your way through to get the other two bursts. So, this is the place to do it if you can, this Canada Cup. No better example than Jennifer Jones, uh, three and three. She's got the same record she had when she got off the airplane. Now she's 15 ends away from uh, going on to the trial. So it's, uh, this is, you're right, this is the easiest way in. And you saw on that graphic about points over a single year and then over a two-year period. If you get in now, you don't have to worry about those points. You don't have to, you can pick and choose your events where teams that are looking to build really points guys. have to say, okay, we're going to go to five events this year, we're going to go to five more the next year, it becomes more involved. It takes that pressure off. It's a huge commitment to go onto the tour and win those Bondsville points. And that means that sometimes I think teams get a little tired when they're thinking about their playdowns to go to the Scotties Tournament of Hearts or the Broadway, and that's a problem. Which is also worth points, so you, uh, 
you see some of the top teams. I know I think it was Glenn played 18 events uh, two years ago and it's a uh, it's very taxing and, and you really wonder how well you're going to play is you see the same thing with other sports like a Tiger Woods might take a weekend off here and there only play 12 events a year. It's it's tough to be on top of your game 18 20 times a year. Corner yeah. guard is up as Shannon yeah. Clybring tries to get a Hard. deuce in this end. No roll, no but roll. there is a little collection of redstones Good. gathering Stop. in the house. But we've said before, not necessarily a bad thing if you, Russ, can move them around and use them to your advantage. This is the first really good chance uh, Shannon's had to generate some points. Uh, the, the stick on the blank by Jennifer Jones was the first first breath of fresh air. I thought they might tap this one back too, Linda. The hit and roll is it's not wrong. This yeah, rock's in a dangerous spot, but it's at the point in the game they really need to execute some, uh, put some pressure on the other team here, really. And this is where our scouting, our description of the game plan mm -hmm. for the two teams is really showing up. Yep. Didn't show up as much in the first part of the game because of the big mistake in the first end. But that is the difference. Shannon Clybrink will go to the hit rather than the quiet Every time, eh? it's amazing. I mean, they're so good at it. That's, you know, it's won them a lot of games. You certainly can't criticize, but it's uh, a lot of the uh, teams would be tapping those rocks like back and creating better. a bit of a wall and forcing the Jones team to a higher degree of difficulty shot. Right here. And here is one right now. Yeah, this has made it a little tougher. Um, the, the, I think you can hit that back one and roll it out of there. She, uh, Jennifer would love to uh, get rid of the yellow, obviously, but take one of those reds with it. And roll away, sit two, really pretty even in the go. house. That'd be great. Really hard, asking. Yeah. And okay. Laws now backing Whoa. off. Clip it. Oh, and did okay. very nice to okay. just get across the face of the stone. Gave the rock at the back of the eight a little kiss on the way by. But once again, Jones without last rock sits three. And that stone by Joel is actually quite similar to Jill Officer. Lots of rotation, mm -hmm. big weight, and so it does run quite straight. Jennifer, I think, thought she was going to clip that back one a little harder and get it out of there and not worry about rocks behind the team. Yeah, good move to call Woe in the sweeping. Once you knew you had the yellow one safely yeah. out of the rings, uh, let it curl and try to get the back one because that back one is not help helping Jennifer Jones. Well, we mentioned earlier that was one of the reasons they recruited Joel Savarin for that upweight ability. Now, this is the problem with that defensive style. You, you know, you throw a draw there, it, unless you throw it right through the rings, it's at least in play. Now Jennifer walks up, peels off the really only chance you have to here. create some Feel. offense, and the, uh, we could end up with another blank end. I guess that's a preference for every team, but I think in a situation on a, this is almost a must score situation. Mm -hmm. You can talk about some form of moving the opponent's rock, no. but as soon as we start talking takeout, I get a little nervous. That rollout is a very big problem for Shannon Clybrink. Caitlin Laws, who studies, oh. Ooh, I say that until that Boy. miss. Nutritional sciences at the University of Manitoba with the flash. We've all done it. A couple of uh, interns overcurled early in the game, first end and second end for uh, Caitlin, and just a little bit of a overcorrection. Control. Yeah, but this one will still be shot. You want the other turn? No, no, no. I like it. To sit there or to roll in front of the red one at the back. I think they're trying to roll, Linda. Yeah, they're trying to roll. Vic still playing uh, takeout Whoa. weight. This one they call Nine control weight, yep. but it's yep. still pretty big weight. Chances are, though, Vic, it's not going to leave a tough Whoa! shot unless they roll yeah, yeah, right behind yeah, that yellow one. They roll it across the face and does spin back, grabs the back edge of the four to be shot stolen. You freeze to one of those, and uh, Jennifer's forced to take all the rocks out. The back one's not a worry. Then you hoop one around that uh, yellow guard and put some pressure on them. A little surprised at the hitting. I will say that after this hit by Caitlin, there's going to be a great opportunity for Shannon. No matter what happens here, there'll be a rock that she can play with. Tap, freeze to, lots of choice. Clean, yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, go, 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 This is perfect for Shannon. She's got two rocks to freeze to, both behind the T-line. There is no risk now. And there she goes. Brush goes down. 
Yeah. Right in front of that yeah, exactly. thrown stone. Or 90. We think back to early in the end, they could have tapped right. into this situation, yeah. Linda, Absolutely. couldn't they? I think that, and the one thing about it is there was no center guard. Sometimes you see skips being a little nervous mm -hmm. playing Boys around days. when there are all rocks there. out in front and they're Nine. concerned about scoring Wait at all. Leave. But this end was Wait wide control. open. There was not Mine's that risk. Be real good. Right real to stay right, right now. Right. Coming no, over there. there. We're all there. Looks oh. no, but no backing then. Has to be on its own. Oh, it's going right through the hole. The problem yeah. with freezing at this stage, too, is she hasn't given it a try, so she hasn't seen the path, Shot. and it is just that little bit straighter, perhaps, yep. and they didn't find the place for the broom. Well, how often do we say in a game when we get to the late in an end, when a skip in particular <laughs> hasn't thrown a lot of draws, and now they're forced to... Well, to that, do it, right? that's it's it, not to be critical, but that is the other yeah, byproduct of hitting everything in sight. Is all of a sudden an hour and a half into the game, Amy's throwing one of her first draws, and it, it, it's she was so close to making that yeah. perfect, but there's an oh, easy uh, removal here. of the yellow here. It's pretty thin. So we, we can try to figure out a way it, to like, not like, leave a wall yeah, and just give her this freeze again. Oh, okay. That's Seems what like. I don't want to. I don't really want to give them a freeze again. When she makes it, I got nothing. Then let's roll that way, and we'll make this double. Even if we just kiss and it. And it'll probably kiss it, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking, this is a nine and a half. This is where Joe's ran really straight. dead straight. I yeah. like it. <clears throat> As Linda said, you know, they can make a mistake a here. If you get okay. that into this situation right here, the then okay. Clybrink okay. taps it back a little bit. Back. There'll definitely be a wall yeah, right along the back here. It'll be almost impossible to remove the yellow rock. So Jennifer has to roll one way or the other. She really doesn't care, but obviously has to make her mind up before she throws. I think they're going high side, stay in the high side of the broom, Linda. It is a little easier considering this is the straight path or has been for the previous throws. There'll be still something for Shannon to work with though. Jennifer Jones with her first, it's the skip rocks here in the sixth. Yep. Yep. She has the 3 1 lead. Askin and Saverin trying to keep it on the high side and no. So she'll sit right there. They were hoping, I thought, as well, if they could keep it straight, Almost maybe to get rid of that stone in the eight foot as well. Well, they definitely didn't want to set up the three. In a row Girl, where Shannon yeah, can play the tap perfect. on shot rock. Jennifer won't be happy with that one. She pulled the weight back a little bit and that made it curl mm, yes. up at the end. Should be high enough. Tap it a foot and stay right in front of it. Okay. You'd love to tap this dead on and move last, the left hand it. rock yeah, a little farther hand. left. That would really yeah, make it yeah, a tough see? wall. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so for a tap like a seven? I don't think 75, 75 for a tap. Yeah, for a tap. This team's using split time intervals for draw weight. A 375 is from T line to right there at release at the hog line. Line's pretty good. Yeah. Line's great. Nice. 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 It's going out before it comes in. The broom nice. did move over. We were talking about four oh. and a half feet Whoa. probably in round nice robin head. play for a straight Whoa. draw. The broom was in quite a bit from that spot and they're still waiting for it to move. <laughs> okay. That just your uh, fourth out turn draw. She's only thrown one in turn okay. draw. Okay, just needed to come up, eh? What was that? That was what? seven. Just a couple a feet later still, makes a such a, a bit difference. Mm -hmm. 13 to 13 one. More like yours, probably. Nine -ish. Okay. Did Clybrink uh, give her a chance here to get out of some trouble? Yes, she sure did. Hard. This is just a pick. Vic. Curling. A little late brush now, and yes, she'll get rid of the backing and roll over. And so Jones is sitting three, and that's what Clybrink will uh, face with her last one. She'll need 
shot. Good piece of the four. Do that better. Strategy is a difficult topic to teach in curling. There are so many factors, and one of the factors is the momentum and the feel of the game. And Shannon Clybrink got a huge break in the fifth end when Jennifer Jones stuck on a blank. And this end, she had lots of chances to take that hammer that she got back from Jennifer and do something with it. And as I said, this end had really no risk. There weren't those guards out in front that make a mess. And she didn't do it. And the problem is now she's being forced to the single. After having that great chance fighting for that hammer, she just can get one. Exactly. This is not, not applying any pressure. It's all about the name of the game. It's not what you make. It's what you leave for your opponent. And the shots just have not been hard enough. Maybe a little hot out of her hand. You see that Derbyshire and Webster have backed right off now. And here comes Caitlin Laws. Needs four foot now. There's four. There's Button. Got to stop. Need a little rub to stop. Oh, and it'll go too far. And it'll be a steal of one. One red for Jones in six. And Jones now up 4-1. Just not very comfortable today. Shannon Clybrink. Oh the NHL on TSN Monday as it's the Coyotes battling the Blackhawks. We'll see live coverage beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific on TSN 2 and TSN Mobile TV. And they won the Memorial Cup in uh, 2002. They are the reigning. Western Hockey League champions, the Kootenai Ice, making it to the Memorial Cup last year before losing in the semifinal. Jennifer Jones has a 4-1 lead, and three of those points are stolen, two in the first and one more in six. As we welcome you back to Cranbrook and Clybrink, Shannon Clybrink will have the last rock here in seven, playing the yellow stroke. I can. Hard, get it tight. Okay, good, Carolyn. I think we got to go around. Yeah. Kind of like just here, though, full eight. Okay. A little bit different approach with the hammer. Jennifer Jones did put that first one in, and you saw the guard go up. Good call to put a guard in position. A little unusual to see it put so close to center. And obviously, Shannon knows that Jennifer's going to try and keep the play in the middle and full wants eight. to work Line's in that good. area as well. It's, it's a usable high. rock for her, though. That's, uh, you'd like it farther off that center line, but uh, certainly a usable rock they can like raise it. later. Good, very nice. Good spot. And just even is what she wanted. Just set up another pocket. It's in front of the T line, but at this point in time, with uh, three points down, you have to freeze. And nice little pocket for uh, the Clybrink team to stick one in there frozen. A little bit for line. Five, four, five. Room, room. Room. Four's good. Five, five. Whoa, done. whoa, 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 whoa. Line's green. Whoa. Yep, no line. Missing. Room. Room, whoa, yep. if you can. Right here. Whoa, if you can. Whoa, 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 no whoa. Bounce. Oh, very nice. Girl. Very nice. Good shot. Shot. Oh, girl, <laughs> <laughs> and a half. I know it's so quick. I uh, like I'm like No. Don't mind that either. I think we just do that. Okay. Go back to what we said earlier about Carolyn Derbyshire and what she brings just in that situation. Having the wherewithal to control the emotion. Realize what I have to do. You put somebody else in really that situation. Hard, really hard. It hasn't been there. As Caroline, they may not have made that shot. Good, good. You start to panic a bit. You look at the scoreboard. You good see job. that your team needs you to make the big shot, and sometimes that outcome thinking gets you in the wrong place. But Carolyn looks very calm out there. Yep. I like to get around everything to the back. It can even be like back 12. I think we can just put it back again, Jan. What's that? This can is we just first. put it back again? It's our first. Just to guard that red one, even? Yeah, we can. I think it's a more makeable shot, personally. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, B. The first call by Shannon was to use those three rocks in the house as a guard and draw around them to the back eight foot, back 12 foot. 
and potentially count that point. It's actually something I'm Kevin good. Martin did late in round robin play to get enough points in the 10th end to go the extra and win. I'm not sure Tell about in this situation Tell with the ice the way it is, how easy man. that is Whoa. going to be for them. And that was, I think, one of Amy's points as well. Yeah, we're getting it too. Yeah, so it's quick, a little bit straighter. They don't think they can fully the hide, be. but that would be a great call. If you could go back 12 buried, there is no raise a potential for Jennifer with a frozen rock at the front. It's a potential three. And I think that's a shot they're still keeping yep. in the, the bank ready to use. They just we don't want to use it yet. One of them. I like that. Peel. That's how you learn your strategy, though. isn't it? From mistakes, uh, two great shots by Don Askin, but not exactly in the perfect spot. If one was a little higher, a little lower, there would not be that pocket that Carolyn froze to. Oh, well, that's fine, though. She was trying to clip one of the Caitlin. red ones on the way by, but this one will not curl. Yeah, this could be an interesting situation as we get farther down the line up here. Does Jennifer Jones ignore the center rock that's thrown up here eventually and go around and sit three? Yeah, Line's real good, there. same line. All and conversely, Not when does Shannon make Tracking that today. move two, into Shannon. the rings well, to promote and anyway. push those red stones sec, back? And that's okay, another two, part three. about strategy that's so fascinating is understanding the timing of when to make your move and no, everybody has two, a different three, opinion. That's why it's now. fun to sit and uh, discuss okay, strategy. Shot, B. Nice weight, B. Both skips being patient right now. I'm gonna try to... I just don't want to leave. I mean, we're no, gonna leave. Yeah, yeah, let's peel from this okay. one. In or out, which looks better for you? Same one Joe just threw. Mm. Nice shot. Let's go. Caitlin, which one you are you get going this. first? Uh, one. Thanks. Go, Kale. Just a straight peel. Okay. Just a straight peel? Yeah. Okay. Yep! Caitlin Laws. To go out in front again, Linda. Hi, girl. Right to the face. Hi, Rush. I Sorry. think they're going to come in, Vic, but I'm not awesome. exactly sure how <laughs> far in. Yeah, because I was thinking even on the other side of center line. Yeah. Don't no, want to lose any of that, though. Okay. Right? Even no. if we're tight, it ain't bad. You, you can could just okay. type to the rings. Yeah, you could freeze here, too, nice and uh, yeah, you know, force like them to hit it and jam and everything out of there, and five, you'll probably lose one of your yeah. yellows, but have a chance for your two. You might not see Jennifer take this one off. This this will be a discussion point, I believe. Eight. Ooh. It's heavy, Sean. That means T line or better. Well, then, here it comes. No, Get no, it's that. heavy. This seven, one's seven. coming down for some reason. Be close. No, no, seven. no. Needs to curl. Still no. Still gonna bounce. Needs to curl. You can bounce it one inch. Only one inch. Oh. Line it up. Good, Amy. It's good. It's good. Wow. There was a lot of panic in this that. Throw. Will go. Right here. A only, lot oh, more sorry, weight than was desired for sure, but they've got it away with it. Not only is it frozen, but yeah, it doesn't look go. like the, the kind of closest yellow to the button won't go anywhere. You might get this everything going. Yeah, this one will probably yeah, cool there. but that's like fine. Yeah. yeah, we gotta get rid of it. Yeah. As soon as it's done, it's actually on a little bit. <laughs> like I'm right here. <laughs> Caitlin's going to throw a, as much weight yeah. as she can throw under control. Peel out the top one. The back yellow is obviously going to hit the red. Should take out both reds, and uh, it might squirt over towards the edge of the eight foot. But I think the back yellow will stay. But it will be freed up. The backing will be gone. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Big shove. By Caitlin yeah, Laws. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And she will squeeze nice one up. right out the side. And the nice backing shot, is gone. Still leaves shot stone to Jones. I like that. 
Yeah, I thought it would. That worked out good. I thought it would. Uh, yeah, nice throw, with Caitlin. Nice. All the way back here. Russ yeah. talked about throwing it under control. So really Sometimes you see people really right. overthrow those, and you don't get anything out of the throw. Yes, she just got rid of one. Got rid of the backing, though. Not a bad shot at all, and she threw it under complete control. She's had a great week. Number one in, uh, for the uh, thirds. Line's real good. Fabulous technique. Yeah, for line. Whoa, line, line, line. Line. Eight. Room. Whoa, guys. Eight, nine. Whoa. A little bit of room. Got a curl. No, close. no, you got to be close. If you can go, go. Yep. Hard to get by. Trying to bring it around. Oh, stop now. Yep. Very nice yep, shot. Yep, yep. Hard. He's using the Great front body. stones as a guard. That's what we talked about earlier. And that did oh, curl. It. it really took a turn. It really Disney did take Good off shot. at the end. Look so. at that finish. I thought you missed it. I thought it was just going to take. But that's consistent. We, didn't, we saw, we, we've seen the late finish right yeah. from the uh, Stay, first stone. Please. Yeah. And, and as I mentioned too, Vic, it, it, it seems to hang on for the whole two and a half hours. It's, it's just kudos to the ice making crew because it's uh, it, it just makes the athletes so You're much more confident late in the sure game. Either overall or Go Go kiss it. Can you hit yeah. that thick enough to make the double? Nine and a half. It's close. It is very close. Looks like there might be a little overlap on the red. Boy, you just basically kiss that yep. on the way by. Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer Jones first oh. skip rock here in the yeah. second, leading four to one. Oh. I know this spot's pretty straight. This is where Shannon missed an end number one. That's the finish. Want to get it? No. Oh, we'll just no, punch no, it no. by. Okay, that's fine. Should have left. Just left it there. Just wait then. You know what? There may have been room. Not even to touch that stone. Yeah, I think you're right, Becca. It would have been really tight to the red, but I think it was there. That's what you had. He's got to sneak half around that one that she's got in the she top did, eight yeah. there. Yeah, totally. Like the top four. Okay. Okay. So Amy threw an 83. A little less, Amy. Yeah, so I can throw about the same weight as I threw coming this way. Can't, like I, it times Would 14. you consider okay. going with the other okay, turn the to get behind? Yeah, exactly. It might not be the shot stone right away, but at okay. least you're behind the overlap. Yeah, you could, Vic. I think you could. But in this case, Jennifer's down to one more throw. She just hit that back one that's pretty well open. Uh, for somebody her caliber, she's pretty hey, safe to get that one out of there. And it's tough to score yeah, if you're not really second good. shot. So I, I think the other option here is you could come around and angle freeze Linda to that top one. Whoa, that protects throwing. the back yellow, which is wide open. And you might uh, get a slight okay, mistake no, out of Jennifer. No, get you no, three. Angle's bad, you guys. Wherever angle's you put bad. this, there's going to be yeah, a wide open hit. Just freeze the go, corner go, of that go. red one at the yep. two o'clock position. That would have been the perfect spot, in my opinion. The problem is, of course, wide open leaves yep. a double. It's hard to go. This race is amazing, but it's tough to Back use a rock, rock and the forefoot as a guard. Just didn't curl like Amy's. If anything, I thought I was a bit on the tight side. It wasn't a lot of rotation. No. Firm? Yep. Should just run, hey? The firm? Yep. You got her. The other thing, too, now is looking at that stone that was just thrown. If she hits this right on the nose, makes the double. A return nose might not give her a shot. Great point, Vic. Yeah, it's a dangerous situation for uh, Shannon Clybrink. That'd be close. Just Hit it on the double on the high yeah. side. With for the stone, him. but it it's would be good. close. You got it. She is hitting it a tiny bit on the high side to make the double, so there should be a little room. But what a great opportunity to set up a possible deuce, and this one could make it go away. Jones' final oh, stone, looking for no, a no. double to sit three. No, 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 no. Curl up a hair. Curl a hair. Yep. Curl up a hair. And oh, just oh, that oh, hair oh, at the oh, end is enough to push it out the back. Just. And so it will <laughs> be Clybrink 
brushing. Drawing against a couple. <laughs> just I'm like, girl. just one little more. I know. Just it was right that in between like half and a few quarters. I know. <laughs> nice shot, Jen. Thanks. Just there. Just enough to push it out the back. Any thinner, there's a pretty easy double at the top, and the nose Thank hit you. gets a pretty yeah, easy cool. do, so that, that had to get out of there. Yeah, to bite the four. What was that split? Now, this was to save eight, the game, four, really. 80, yeah, 85. Yeah, We're saying it's a little quicker Mine's than good. yesterday. Gotta be Walk careful. The same line, you guys. Needs to bite the red. Little piece of the forefoot drawing against a couple. No, it's not moving this one. Seven. You see Derbyshire and Webster. Should be okay. Backing right off now. Nixon. Amy thinks it'll stop in time, and sure enough, it does. For the single point. Still doesn't stop you from biting your nails a little bit. 4 2 Jones. I'm not getting any better. Even that. Yeah. I'm going to do that as soft as I can. Right shot at the right time, and uh, Jennifer Jones came up with one that's a key shot. Again, you're going to look back. Got herself out of some trouble. No, hasn't had a lot of pressure on her the whole game. We were just talking about that, so this is probably the most important shot she's had to throw. Yeah, jammed this exact same shot to lose to Chelsea Carey, giving up a deuce, so just had to just get enough finish to get a piece of that baby. Moved it back enough, otherwise the double was there for two. <laughs> Shannon Clybring draws the lid for the single in seven, and so Jones now has the lead for two. She also has the last rock playing the Red Stones. As we welcome you back to Cranbrook, you got the Rex, the Rexplex. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Go, 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 Joe. Go, 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 The winner of this semifinal will move on to play Chelsea Carey in the final tomorrow. And the winner earning that first spot in the curling trials in Winnipeg in December of 2013. Well, we were just wondering when Shannon would make the move, would be the aggressive skip, knowing she's down in this game and has to somehow score. The attempt here is for Carolyn to play two guards. Already the long one is up. Now you want the one tighter to the rings, one in front of the other, so you don't set up the double peel later. Good, Carolyn. And Tough there you down. heard it, the yeah, separation. Wow. Jennifer Jones' approach in this situation is for Dawn to draw in twice. The first one is top 12. She wants this one to come in behind. Jennifer will Even. wait for Joelle to play to make the double peel. A lot of pressure on the team that's it's winning in this uh, case on the lead. And of course, uh, no better than Don Askins to throw these two rocks. But the A would love to bury it. B no, have to be, no, absolutely no, have to be in front of that go, T line. Go, go, go. It's so Hard. tempting to throw it short of the rings, which creates another piece of shrapnel that can hurt you. So another great throw by Don. And there is that late finish <laughs> to uh, get to the top of the uh, 12 foot. That's good. I'm trying to think back if they've played out that wide. Before. It looked a little wider than they have been. Good point, Vic. Fresh piece of ice. I like where that stopped, though, Linda. It's not, you know, ideally you'd like a top eight, top four buried, but uh, it's a usable rock for uh, Team Jones. It's wide open, and the call well, for Shannon Clybring Bronwyn throwing here is the come around. If it is dead buried, really that redstone really can be raised exactly. up on it. We, we're so tempted that we were so conditioned with this rule to bury to everything, and that, that's in a great spot for the team with Hammer. So straight. Go now. Yep, all you can. Way back, guys. Way back. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. Looking for guys. the finish. Hard, late hard, finish hard. to get it to curl. And she'll tuck a piece around. Or just pick this out. Oh. The like girls thing. I think we got to do something with the front. Okay. I see all of it. Almost all of it. Yeah. You heard Caitlin Law saying, I think we have to do something with the front. Her thought being what? Well, if you pick out the one in the house, they might put it in even better, and you're still leaving the garbage out front. So this is no. why you hired Joelle, and that's to make the big no. peel. Close. Whoa. 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 No, no, no. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Oh, there you go. 
Just finished great at the end. Joe. Great throw. Great shot, Joe. Seems to be a bit more curl on the out turn coming home than the out turn going away where uh, Shannon missed in the first end. Now looking for a guard. Rock in the house is biting the button. We'll try and protect it. Two. two. Line's good. Hi, right. two. Hold oh, then. Line's real good on its own. Trying to curl. Oh, that's good. Over curling. It's good there. Nice shot, B. Shot, B. It's good. And Clybrink is looking for the steal. Jennifer Jones wants to score. She doesn't need to score more than one. She needs to just keep the edge oh, in this game. Yeah. Yeah, As we've is. mentioned, Russ pointed out the fact yeah. that that red stone that is spot. just off center line is in a great spot to yeah. be moved up. And definitely if you can clear some garbage away for the next little while, Jennifer will be having a shot at least for that point. We talk about all the time if at the uh, second rock of Dawn's had come a foot farther, it. it might have Three staggered out, those three. two rocks. It overlaps a bit and then there's no raise opportunity. Right now, eventually really if they have to, Jennifer Just Jones two. has two raises. Where are you? Three. three. Okay. Three's yep. not the number no, they no, want. No. We'll leave it higher than the a little rest. bit tight, deep. Tight. That's good. But why can't you, if you're, if you're Clybrink, why can't you put your stone yeah. in yeah. a position that would overlap to take away the race? Yeah, you could here, Vicky. That's not a bad point. You could freeze to the middle of the two reds, maybe even bump the one on the center line a little bit and guard that back rock. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, right off, right off. Watch the red. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. She got one earlier, remember? One of those excuse me's, and here's another one. Wow. That's tough to even consider the angle that Redstone had to come back to make the play on the one on the button. Oh, I think Caitlin bad. should be fine oh, for not smiling there. <laughs> there. Oh, there go. we go. <laughs> wow. Eight and a half. Okay, right into there. This is dicey too to play oh, yeah. with this. Sorry, uh, that's, that's like too much ice. This right? way, uh, you could uh, yeah. you could certainly run it onto your own, but uh, hitting again when uh, uh, steel is uh, utmost importance. Yeah, I'm really yeah. surprised. No. I don't know if it's the really fact are. that there was that oh. little bit of a fluke. Let's no. call it by Caitlin yeah. that no. throws Shannon yeah. off. Oh. Oh, girl. Very nice. Makes the double. The raise double to sit two. She's been the key player for Shannon. I talked about taking the pressure off by Amy playing well. Well, 95% for Amy Nixon. Caitlin without any draws, playing well in the hits and having two little helpers by, uh, I guess I call them flukes, but she, she <laughs> has had a couple that have worked out for her. Player numbers brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Ooh, this never, could be never, another never, one. Never, Linda never. hits it, it on the wide side. Might make the thin double here oh, if it curls at all. Oh, yeah. She flashed one earlier. So as much as she's done the fluky excuse me kind of things, that's the second flash for Caitlin Laws. The first one was on appeal. That missed by a lot, and that's a rock in the house. The uh, the wrong side for that is to come over and nose it or even just chip it out a little bit, but that's a big mess. Maybe a little too much arm extension on some of those, trying to keep the weight up, and you still have to kick out of the hack. You can't just rely on the push. It's tough to hit the broom when you really force it out of your uh, on your release. Now on the plus side for Caitlin and Jennifer, okay, this so is still a pretty wide open game. looking house. Yeah. The reason why we were talking about trying to clutter things is they wanted something near the button with guards out in front. 
Two rocks in the 12 foot may not be good enough. Yeah, if you're a betting man, you'd uh, still uh, see Jones score her one here. There's really no danger at this point other than there's multiple rocks in the rings of the wrong color. Mine's great. Shannon Clybrink had her great. first. And tight to the she wants foot. to go where? I think she's going to go top. Just eight. tight to the eight Try foot. Try to stop the front double. No more than biting. This is almost a, a setup shot Hard where guys. she doesn't really no mind what happens if Jennifer happened to play a Mine's hit and great. stuck there. That'd be a guard she Bite could it. use. You might Bite even it. see Jennifer Norton draw. Good job, you guys. Good. Well, really tired. Linda, as well, if you're going to draw it, 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 you go to school for maybe the, your last one. You're likely going to have to draw anyway with your last one. That's correct? right. I'm a little surprised with Shannon and the way they position that rock. It's quite far over. I thought mm -hmm. they might play it closer to center, at least make Jennifer think a little longer yeah. about what shot to play. Absolutely. Let's say Jennifer just misses this for whatever reason. Shannon goes dead left, buried Caitlin, around that. There's four. still a full four foot to draw to. You're exactly nice. right. Mm -hmm. I think I could get her. That was a 15 and a half that she just threw. Okay. This is the call uh, you, you just get out of a, a very experienced like skip. Like a lot of teams say, well, you know, I've got hammer, I'm up by two, I have oh, to hit, I have one? to hit, I have to that hit, one? but it's too late to blank. You're, you're going to get forced to something, might as well be two. You'll probably be drawing on your next one, right? You're going to have to draw with your next yeah. one, right? I don't even mind if we're frozen to the back one, really. Okay. I'll make it. It's Play this. Good. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> make it nice, Jeff, for you. Five. Four and three quarters is five. Let's pull the sticker here. Back edge of the eight, if they can. Now Saverin and Askin go to work, trying to take it back as far as they can, and may have left it a little too long, as it'll stop top edge of the four. Like the call, though, Vic, it's, it's, it still could be missed. This isn't the simplest shot in the world. That's it. Finish. Nice just hack, just sit four. Okay. Don't mind like sitting in the middle even. Okay. It should go this much here, hey? Like there's a lot of finish on this side of the line. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Totally. These are sometimes tricky. You're on the outside of the tape going down that center line and is it gonna run down the outside or is it gonna curl early once it crosses? I mean, it's probably very weight sensitive if you throw too much at the definitely run. A little oh, outward motion there. Definitely outward motion. So you go back to that first when Jones stole two. Is this more of the same? Hard, hard, hard. Well, she'll catch enough to remove the stone and lose the shooter. And now the chance for uh, Jones yeah, with her last. Two. She's uh, drawing against two, maybe three, biter at the top, and she'll need full eight. Does have the advantage of just throwing that stone. That's huge. That has to help the confidence. Has a saber at the back if they have to. Same path. Same spot. You never know. String on it. Look at her you right up go. behind you it now. Go. Jones go right up behind. Sabra and Askin. Gotta go, girls. Needs eight. Come on. She's waked up now. Here comes Laws two. All three now. She needs eight foot. Needs full eight. Needs full eight. She's drawing against three. Needs full eight. A little bit more. A little bit more. And there it is. I thought I was really like. Jennifer Jones. 
gets the brushing, gets the single. Now up 5 2. It's time now for the Eminem Meat Shop's Final End Challenge. After the game, go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship in Sochi, Russia, the home of the 2014 Olympic Winter Games. Now, the first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 M&M gift card, and all participants will get an M&M discount. So, go to finalend.ca, and the secret word for today is... Curling. As we welcome you back to Cranbrook. And this semifinal. Women's semifinal of the Capital One Canada Cup of Curling. The winner to go on to play Chelsea Carey in the final tomorrow. Jennifer Jones it. getting that single to lead 5-2 as we go to the ninth and Shannon Clyburn will have the last rock playing the yellow stones. Good shot. Out of girl. <laughs> the Clyburn team are running out of time. They have to take I'll chances take it, this in. You have to okay. up the risk, put rocks in play, tap, no hits, move things around and see if you can get those extra points. And this one is a pitch to the boards by Don Askin. Nice call, too, and the theory there, you know, you'd love to sit two points, when, but not when you're three up like this, and that's just extra rocks in play that can help the Clybrink cause. A little straighter. So getting that out of the way, the first rock, as usual, for Dawn, right in a great spot in front of the eight foot. She makes a living throwing it in that white circle, and I think she's only had one this whole day behind the tee line. It was about a foot deep, one of the ends, but everything else has been perfect, and it really sets it up for her team. Now that little extension was because Carolyn felt that it picked. Something was under the stone. She's trying to free it up by spinning it. Great way to do it. That's the best way. It usually sheds it by putting that extra spin on, but you have to you then throw it. less weight. It'll nice run a lot recovery, farther Carol. with that big rotation. Great recovery. Vic, you said earlier how cool, calm, and collected like Carolyn yeah. is as the substitute for this team. This takes a lot of composure. That's not easy to do. Fantastic. Oh, she thinks she shed it, and the team got it into a corner guard position. Carolyn, Whoa! her birthday is coming up yeah. on Tuesday, so we wish her a, an early happy birthday. Might, might have them both here. In for the double. Go, 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 go. Well, Joelle Savaran, she she had some doubts, so the story goes, about whether she wanted to join the team, but she put in an awful lot of work, knew that she was going to try and pick up for Jill Officer, and certainly today has uh, shown that she can do the job. That looked like a Jill Officer shot there. That's uh, Jill's specialty, and well done. That was a great throw. It was a little unfortunate for Carolyn, the rock mm. picking, and she had to make the recovery, but the rock didn't go far enough. It's also part of the debate many teams have about playing two corner guards, because quite often it seems that you set up the double as opposed to maybe playing around the one in the house, coming around the corner yourself, try to get a couple of rocks set up early and not leave that double. Great point. That is changing a lot. Throw the one, go around it. It's You're virtually buried. If it is buried, they play the run back. Even if they make it, there's still a guard. And that, that, there's no chance of making a double peel that way. No, no, no. Close. No. Seven. Going to get something here on the way by? No. no nothing. Now you're the statistician. That happens so often, doesn't it? <laughs> it seems to. The perfect double and then the easy one can't be made. You see it often in a lot of sports, and in particular in hockey. What do they say after a team scores a goal? The worst time is the minute right after. That's the loss of focus, and quite often that's true in curling, and it's part of your own pre-shot routine, but quite often it's because on those more difficult shots, you are more focused on a very specific spot on the rock, a certain way of throwing the stone, and suddenly it looks easy, and you don't take that same opportunity to focus. Well, yeah. We've got to put it wider than that red, yeah. too, because yeah. she's going to peel that, and we've got to get past the... Yeah. Or use so it's going to have to be out in the yeah. foot. Which is okay, isn't it? 
And then we'll have to play some kind of bump and roll to get behind it. Well, if we go around okay. now on bees, we gotta we gotta carry it. We gotta hold it. Yeah, I know. So. Three for four shots. Yeah. yeah. I think the other thing it. is we can tap that back. The red. Yeah. It's too early. She'll still peel too it early. though. Yeah. Then we have yeah. nothing to hide behind. And then yeah. it was same. Then we can doubles. guard it. Well. I think we gotta throw another. Okay, beer. so it's just gotta be a little more. less ice so that it's a little better. Okay. I like it. I just think it's too soon. Yeah, it is. But even kind of closer center guard is not bad. Yeah. On the other side, like right around here. Yeah. Could go ground either one. That red rock is really a guard at this late stage in the game. There's so much finish. We saw it uh, last end. You can get behind those as long there. as you're not through the ring. You might even go around that red one. Once they peel it off, then go around the good one. And you may have heard just almost under her breath. Amy Mine's Nixon no saying, Let I think it's start. too early. Too early to do one. Too early to go in, Vic. So that's why they're putting the guard up. They're worried that if they go in, they won't have a chance to set up a multiple score. But I like going in now. I think you have to set up a deuce. You need at least two to keep this one close coming home. No, no, maybe not. That's just a fast. Yeah. Faster. Yeah, I agree, Linda, that, uh, okay. that red one's really a guard. Like we already have two guards. Peel it out? I think just peel it out. Just gonna come around after. Right? Don't forget on those come arounds, you don't have to be shot rock at this stage of the end. Okay. You can go around to that red one to the back 12. I think. I don't want to leave like a staggered come around. That's a good call. Although I like go for contact first. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> There have been a few silent takeouts. And two of them by yeah. Yeah. this young lady, Caitlin Lowe's. Yes. Hard! Hard! Right out, Joe. Right out. Oops. Right out. Right out. Go, go, go. Touch the board. Go. <laughs> Very nice. Did it spin back? Nope. Good bit of rushing there by Joel Sabaran as well to follow that stone across the house. Okay, yeah, break it again. I don't mind it. You guys? I don't mind it. One more. Right up, Amy. Let's go. I don't know. You're down three. You have four mm. rocks left. I'm going in. Yeah, I'm you. not waiting. Anything. I put it anywhere behind either of the rocks. Mine's real good. It's got to be two. even. Be two. Surprised if you don't have to sweep it. Right here. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Looks like it's got lots right now. Not curling hard right yet. here, guys. It's really curling. Part of the reason one. you don't like go really in and the timing we're talking about is that you expect the other team to make their shot. But Russ, you were talking to me earlier about the fact that the Jones team have not had pressure. They've actually missed some wide open shots. So put a little pressure on, get it into a little bit more difficult position. You never know, you might actually get the mistake. It's the only way you can win at this level is make the shots harder. You have to force these good players to make tough shots, and they really, yeah. I, I can't think of any they've had. Quick, right out of her hand, Sabarin and Askin. Jumping all Should over. More and it'll hit the bumper and out of play. Okay. Wasn't pretty. Sorry, and Work. now there's the indication. Shannon yeah. Clybrink will go now. Does that look like enough? Touch my guard. What'd you have for ice on yours? Does that look about right? I had uh, middle of the four for mine. It's. What'd you have, Carolyn? Just a hair. Is that a bit too much a ice? A couple inches less for Mike. I think just maybe a bit less, but not. Like... Yeah. Okay, guys, top All right. Let's go. But both of you say she could have done this two stones ago, three stones ago. Well, I would have. I would have come in hard sooner and hoped to make it really a little more complicated for Jennifer. Time with you. And you, you know, that, again, that red one's a guard also. Absolutely. Whoa. Room. Whoa. Room, your body. Weight's really good. good. Seven. Whoa, it's not going. Stay close. You got to go. You got to go. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. It's going now. Hard, on, guys. Guys. Hard, 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 hard. Every bit. Good shot. Well, she'll talk maybe a third of a stone behind the... Like a cast? Kind of set it a little. Oh. Like the guard that's covering the edge of the four that's foot. Okay. Yep. Didn't get the finish they wanted there. Nice speed. Oh, 
Sure, Manisa, that one was back a little bit. Maybe when they saw it was a bit wide, they should have taken it as back, far back as possible. You never know, you might get a nose hit from your opposition, and there's something to freeze to. Exact same time. This was in, and yours over curled and was perfect. Hers never finished. No. Stones here in nine, and uh, Jennifer yeah, Jones yep. with her whoa, first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lean on the post. Yep. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. It's breaking at that no. guard. Watch it off the back. Yep. 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 Hard. Ah. Sorry, now they'll sit there, and what can you do with those? Spinner. Uh, we had Shannon it. Shannon Glybrink. Shoot. I think they're going to ignore it, Vic. You could freeze to it. Uh, getting pretty late in the end for that. Probably the straight come around that Amy just tried. Get to the corner of the forefoot, you'll be shot rock and buried. It looks like you could draw around that yellow guard either turn. Yes. We can probably go back for it, too, right? Amy thought she set hers just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that's what she said. I didn't see it, but okay. okay. So we took just a little bit less ice. So thinking back then to the last uh, draw by... Amy yeah, Nixon, and she set it a bit. Oh, okay, so nine for me. Nine, Put yeah, a little outside, Vic. They were talking about where the broom had been to okay. position the yellow guard on the ice and then took a little bit more, but uh, if you're a little bit full, you're not getting a good read on that path either. So they cut down the ice for Shannon. Hey, Rams, Even though they're not executing as well as they'd like to today, there's still a great right communication. And Shannon needs to know that really fact gone. that Amy yeah, was honest enough to say, hey, I did set it back a little bit, and that allows you to put the broom in the right spot. All right, here again, it's breaking Hi. towards that corner Kate. guard. Kate. Webster, Darvishai. Oh, great throw here. The speed should be perfect. And there you are, said, just bite the edge of the four, and they do for Shot Rock. So a wonderful draw by Shannon Clybrink. That's the most minus curled all game. Just squeaks it by, gets it to curl. And it is shot stone. Nose or angle tap is fine. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know how she gets to here. As long as we put it behind one of these ones. Mm hmm About there? She threw about here. Yeah. If we if we go by on the, like, it will go to here, right? True. So just T-line weight, do you think that's enough? Um, my gut would have been a little bit more, but. I can't go that way, though, Caitlin, right? Yeah. I can even split it, really. Okay. There. You got her. Smart call here, not chasing the enemy rock, just going to tap that red. They got a nice situation here. You tap the red to the button. When Shannon plays the double, the double is really easy, but the yellow one should not be closer than the extra red one. Tap to tap it an inch. Yep. I'd like to tap it to the button, but. Tap this straight back. I don't think Shannon can score two. I go back to the point I made about Amy's last rock that drew into a position. When you're Shannon and you're trying to set up, you have to be oh so careful about leaving rocks in front of the T-line that are open because when hits are made, now the little wall that you want is in front of the T-line instead of back, and you've got to do something with those rocks eventually. Control that front, And if you can put things in the back, at least you've got more room to maneuver. But the stone is now potentially a great stone for Jennifer Jones, who can tap Let it up. Let go, T! Go then. We can hear Askin and Tatter and say, we got to go. We know the weight of the rock. Now it's a question of line. No, 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 no. Maybe a little miscommunication there between the brushers and Caitlin Laws managing the house. It's okay. Tough one, nice throw. Just had to tap. I know. an inch. I know. Sketchy little, little mistake by the brushers. As I said, line was critical on that. They just needed to push it enough to be shot. Yeah, anything on the other side was uh, very problematic. But this, the shot's here, but not easy. You have to throw a bit of weight to get through this opening. How much weight, though? I have to have at least board, because if you think about it, hack through the hole is going to bust. But it's straight there, so. Yeah, but how straight? Like, I, I like think board. 11. Yeah. I think you're right. 
And basically, you have to just hair that. Yeah, I'm with you. A real test for out turn here, uh, Linda. We uh, we know the spot's fairly straight, but good point by Shannon. Pack weight, the there is no hole. There'll be enough like curl. It will not go by the yellow guard and the red front red one. So you have to have a little bit of speed here. Obviously, any outside like roll is going to tick their own yeah. yellow out of play. All right. You think this room? Oh, yeah. I mean, I wasn't heavy, but what'd you get? You got it. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. You heard somebody say, you think there's room? And they said, oh, yeah. But the opportunity is here now for Shannon Clyde. Rink final stone here in nine to get a couple. Cut the lead yeah, down to one. Hard, hard, oh, and hard. here they go right away. Webster and Derbyshire. Like and going like crazy. It looks like it'll be all over the, the red ones. Pick. All over the Jones stones. That had to pick. And she'll bounce okay. one okay. and bounce one in, and it's a steal of one more for Jones here in nine. So it has been an off day for Shannon Clybring. Jones now leads 6-2. Four of those points have been stolen. There's a familiar face, Amber Holland, the reigning Canadian women's champion. Silver medalist at the Worlds in SPR last March. And Amber will be part of Team North America against Team World at the World Financial Group Continental Cup. And it is coming up next year, early in the new year, January 12th through the 15th. It's at the Langley, B.C. Event Center. Langley is just east of Vancouver. Go to curling.ca slash tickets to join us for the World Financial Group Continental Cup in Langley, B.C. So as you might expect, with a 6-2 lead, Jennifer Jones, without last rock, is throwing everything to the bumpers. And uh, Shannon Clybring now trying to manufacture something really with nothing. And if you were to quickly analyze the game, lack of execution, poor game plan, combination for Shannon Clyburn. A combination, Vic. You mentioned that Shannon hasn't played very much. That's more? definitely yep. showing up in her shot Come making. Amy Nixon has been okay. terrific. She's played more. Shannon side. has struggled. But I do say that although Shannon does have that conservative here. style today, she had to take more risk it, earlier maybe? in the game sure. to try and get back in this thing. Yeah, one of the greatest hitting teams I've ever seen. But once you're down two or three points, you have to flip that switch. And with just not enough pressure put on any of Jennifer's shots. And uh, that's really been the difference yeah. in the game. For Jennifer Jones, uh, although she hasn't had to do much, we do know that her playoff record is superb at the Scotties Tournament of Heart, for example. So if it continues Whoa! and Jones wins this, she's going to be very it's tough playing against Chelsea oh. Carey tomorrow. Clean. Clean. Oh. Okay. Good job. Good. They tried a little harder, and that one swept out a little more. That's made. That's right. Nice, Joe. Well, without getting ahead of ourselves here as, as, as time and rocks run out on Shannon Clybury. So Jennifer Jones from Winnipeg, Chelsea Carey from Morden into the final tomorrow will guarantee a Manitoba yeah. team in those curling trials in Winnipeg like in December of 2013. So if this I'll place wasn't going to be sold out before, <laughs> it's <laughs> likely going to garner some more We're interest even. with two well, Winnipeg maybe. teams potentially, or at least it's one guaranteed a spot. Nice wait, buddy. Well, uh, Linda, she, you know, it's a tough situation for her to come on this great Thanks. team and uh, big boots to fill and uh, play very well. Well, that point ability really does shine through for Joelle, and she's also a great brusher. She adds a lot to the team in many ways. 
The hard part for Jennifer is Jill Officer is one of those players that's been with Jennifer forever. Mm -hmm. And she's the person at the hack end that lends a lot of support when Jennifer goes to throw. So it was difficult for the team to find someone to do any of those there. jobs that Jill yeah. did. That one little piece Final may be still missing. But Joelle yep. has done so well no, in three other ways. Good. Yep. Line only. Well, you gotta go, give me by. Yep. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot. Great throw. That doesn't throw there. Jennifer will be looking for a little bit different performance from Caitlin Laws tomorrow. She has played well at times, but the inconsistency has shown up on those misses. Please. Wide open oh. misses on uh, those takeouts. Really oh. unusual. She's a good, good hitter, good drawer, well-rounded game, great technique, but uh, she'd like a few. Oh. Ooh, there's another one. Okay, Caitlin. Caitlin. She'd like a few of them back this game. Uh, very uncharacteristic. That's about <laughs> four now, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Right. She'll have yeah, to park yeah, that okay. for tomorrow. You, know, you wonder if it could we'll be the broom away. too. You know, maybe the broom's yeah, the wrong spot. She felt confident so. throwing that one. I like it. Yep. With the ice being a little straighter mm -hmm. and her having that arm extension and probably throws a straight rock to begin with, it so. might be catching them. Yep, big rotation. Hers aren't going to curl much. the split rolls both shooter and Ray Stone in to sit three. One of the things you do love about Shannon and her team is they fight right to the finish. They're determined. They're going to make all the shots they can. Amy Nixon is not letting up. Very nice split. Much less ice this time around. No. Clean. No. No, no. Falling. No. Yes! Yes! Hard! Yes! Hard! Okay, uh, that's fine. fine. I Couldn't get rid of them both, <laughs> jammed it. Still falling. Oh my god. And so yeah, Blybrink is going. sitting two, needing four here with Last Rock the tie. Sounds like it's pretty straight over there. The, uh, sometimes you, when you scrape the ice, there's a little bit of frost and the outsides builds up over the week and that makes the ice a little warmer. So when you scrape it with your metal blade, it'll dig in a little bit and actually make those areas a little bit lower. So we'll give her a little bit of a buy there. Maybe that's a straight spot. On its own. I got 75. I got nine, but big push Really moving. Now moving pretty good a little bit. Not a lot. Times way faster than Bronwyn's. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. It's running out of range. Okay. Be enough to catch the 12 foot to sit three. Okay. Nice shots, buddy. interesting we go back to what we talked about when we first went on the air and I asked you about the three and three record of uh, Jennifer Jones and you said yeah maybe not the best but at this moment with just the three teams remaining you thought she's the favorite well exactly you know you, you can see it in their faces both teams I thought were a little bit nervous in this game and rightly so it's a big carrot and uh, you know uh, Chelsea carries uh, in a position she's never been in before uh, she could play lights out and she might go the other way you never know that's that's curling that's what we all have done but with the this experience of this team you just have to give them a chance and they managed to get in with this three and three record which is too bad you yes. to be honest that you're oh, allowed to get in at three and three but with only seven clean. games that's what happens easy clean clean yep. seven yep. teams sorry oh, just lead easy 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 clean 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 nice chance. Good throw, Jen. Jen. Well, then she's she's got a flash. She won't have to hit a roll and make a flash. 
Chelsea just has to go tomorrow and play the way she's been playing, though. It's uh, there are more opportunities after this if you don't win, and uh, she's got nothing to lose. She'll be the underdog, and uh, that's a nice position to be in, I think. They played really well all week and uh, and beat Jennifer, which is a huge bonus. The only issue is emotional control. If they uh, come out against someone like Jennifer, who they obviously admire and respect in their own province, and then keep getting reminded by a lot of people, including us, of what's at stake, that's a tough kind of game to play. But remembering as well, Chelsea Carey did beat Jennifer Jones in the round run. In the round run. So it, you can do it. Mine's good. Five. Shannon yeah. Clybrink and her baby. first. Oh, you're okay. Wait, oh, oh, oh. She needs to make all Not the five, stones three. count now. Nine. It's got a cross. It's crossing. It's going now. Close, guys. Well, if you can. Well, if you can. Yep. Heart. Heart. Right back, right back, right back. Good job. Okay, it's good. Okay. It really doesn't matter, just make one go away. Yeah, pick your favorite one. It's a good idea here to stay on the high side. Usually you don't over curl in this situation. When that's yeah, the only way you're going to miss this is jam it onto the red one probably. The team will take a little extra time making sure the path is clean. That's about the only other thing that you worry about. We always say when a great team loses out of one of these championships, well, we'll see them soon. But Shannon Clybring goes home to play in a very tough province to try and get into the Scotties Tournament of Hearts. So it's not a given that these good teams go on and we will see them again. So much depth in uh, all the Western provinces for that matter. And it's uh, you're right. It's uh, I think Shannon's been to four Scots and uh, such a great player. It's, it's tough to win. And also they're going to have to alter their lineup. They know that Bronwyn Webster will leave the team after this event. They're supposed to go to China next week to play in a bond spiel. Uh, they're not quite sure whether in fact they will now continue doing that, but the game plan changes now. It's all about the points and trying to earn a berth to the trials that way. But Jennifer Jones and the team from the St. Vidal Curling Club will march on now to the final. As they run Clybrink out of stones, make the final 6 3. And so now it will be an all Manitoba final to see who will, in fact, get that spot at the trials in Winnipeg. And we'll have it for you. Make a note of the time Sunday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Chelsea Carey from Morden, Manitoba, will play Jennifer Jones from the St. Vital in Winnipeg. Canada Cup curling. Jennifer Jones will look to become a two-time champion of the Canada Cup. The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? The 2011 Capital One Canada Cup is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association, by Scotty's, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years, and by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions, your dreams, our strategies. When you go back to the first stand, maybe this was an indication of what was to come for Shannon Glybring. Well, it sure looked like it. She wants to play an open style, and this is her kind of shot, an out-turn hit. Normally the best kind of shot for Shannon. She misses, gives up a steal of two, and now her conservative style just doesn't get her back in the game. So that leads us to the game story brought to you by m and Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one iron. And finally in the ninth, Shannon did have a chance, was setting up a possible deuce and then a pick. And that was really the end. Although Amy Nixon had a great game, Shannon just couldn't pull it out. And so now Jennifer Jones will move on to play for the championship 
and a spot in the Olympic trials. Chelsea Carey will go on the ice in a matter of moments to uh, match some rocks, I suspect, and a uh, little practice. She's already into the final, having won first place, and so she now knows that she will play Jennifer Jones, and we'll have it for you Sunday morning. Make a note of the time. It's early, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. They'll play for the $26,000 first prize, of course, but more importantly, one of these uh, two Manitoba teams will go through to the uh, curling trials to be held in Winnipeg. Interestingly enough that they uh, have played just once on the curling tour. That was a couple of weeks ago in Brantford, and it was Jones winning 7-2. to two. But then in this round robin, uh, Russ, uh, it was uh, Chelsea Carey winning and getting a little bit of that confidence back. Oh, huge confidence. It's all about confidence at this level. Jennifer Jones has been the top team for years. Chelsea Carey's the new kid on the block. Beating them was huge. You have to believe in yourself, and they do now, and I, I think they have to keep it simple. They, you know, they've got... 10 ends to play well see what happens I wonder though about this uh, as you suggest new style of Jennifer Jones a little bit more defensive playing a little bit more wide open how do you exploit that uh, take advantage of that if you're Chelsea Carey well Chelsea Carey actually also likes to play it a bit open so that actually plays into her hands but I'll tell you one thing round robin is one situation playoffs are another and this Jennifer Jones team once they get some momentum are so tough to beat and we saw it I think in the men's side and we haven't talked about the men a little bit Mike McEwen came in here as the leading money winner on the men's tour and expected to do some great things some will suggest that maybe the pressure of the moment got to him because you thought about the ultimate prize rather than as you hate to say it one game one stone at a time uh, if you are carry don't you then you really do have to play it. Don't think about the spot. Think about the shot. Exactly. Stay in the moment. Stay in your routine. All the psychologists tell you that. <laughs> Get in the hack. Do what you normally do. See what happens when it gets down the other end. What about uh, Caitlin Laws? Any worry about her play? No, you saw her at the end look so frustrated. I'm sure they'll go back. They've got a great coach in Janet Arnott. They'll talk about it and calm her down. She'll be fine. Well, Jennifer Jones proving that a 3-3 three and three record, when she gets into these situations, she still is one of the best. The four-time Canadian champion advances to the final of the Canada Cup. Well, it was last March in London, Ontario, the Briar Final. And it was Jeff Stoughton with a win over Glenn Howard for a uh, third. Canadian championship and then going on to win the Worlds as well in Regina and so what we've got this evening in the men's semifinal of the Canada Cup is a rematch of that Briar final with uh, Glenn Howard hard luck Glenn Howard I think I mean it's uh, lesser men would have been crushed when you think Linda about what he has lost uh, two Briar finals in a row he lost that Olympic trials final to Kevin Martin, yet here he is still curling as well. Uh, both of these gentlemen are now in the late 40s <laughs> and, yes, and, and curling very well. And Kevin Martin, too. Yes. I mean, we're talking about three, te three skips are all in their uh, mid to late 40s. Yeah, very consistent teams, all of them. Now, one big change on the Glenn Howard team is at third. Richard Hart's gone. Wayne Madaw's in. Wayne has not had a great week. He's had some struggles, so that will be interesting. But otherwise, this is one of the most consistent teams on the tour. But Wayne was with them last year when they won they this was. event. Uh, Stoughton, I mean, timeless. And then John Mead, if he can perform as well as he did at the Briar, my goodness. That was unbelievable. What a show. They were just incredible. And the, uh, Johnny's the key to this team now. He throws it like Jeff. It helps Jeff read the ice. It helps him put the broom in the right spot. They're a good team. But they've had a little setback yesterday, too. Lost two games, and all of a sudden they're in third place. And, of course, the team waiting to uh, play the winner, Kevin Martin. And he went through undefeated. So when we join you again in just over a couple of hours, it will be Glenn Howard against Jeff Stoughton. We'll have it for you at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That is 5 p.m. Pacific. The semifinal of the Capital One Canada Cup of Curling. Now on behalf of Linda and Russ and our entire crew, thank you for joining us. It's just the start of a season of champions that will take us right through until Easter of next year. And it's all right here on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN.